Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the officially unofficial watch party for the greatest event in arm wrestling history. I'm Uncle John here with you on Arm TV. We are joined, of course, by Arm TV's very own Gary Roberts. What, 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 what? Are you even ready for this? And of course, the legendary, the man, Cobra Rhodes. Cobra, are you ready? (laughs) Very excited. Happy to be here, Uncle John. Hello, everybody in YouTube land. We're going to see some banging going on today. Very excited. We certainly are. Now, you may be wondering, why am I practicing uh, COVID safety tactics in my own home? <laughs> well, the, it's, I'm not, but there was a poll yesterday for brand new Desperation Day facial hair for Uncle John. I have had a beard for eight years And in honor of Desperation Day, in honor of this historic event, I allowed you, the viewers, to vote on what kind of hair, facial hairstyle I was going to have. It could have been chops, it could have been a regular mustache, or it could have been the Hulk Hogan power stash. So without further ado, get a load of this, hunk of man. Put your wives away. Make sure that your daughters are not viewing this telecast, because they will immediately come to Halifax, Nova Scotia. For a piece of this hunk of man. No, I'm telling you, Uncle John. You lost <laughs> that chin, bro. <laughs> Double trouble, buddy. I mean, well, that's like a young Freddie Mercury. Hey, you know, I'll take it. If you could sing like that, boy, you'd say to hell with arm wrestling, you heard? That's, you know, it's it's a it's a possible another thing for me, for sure. Could be. So for everyone in the chat, we got we 700 got game, people. I'm excited. 700 people in the chat right now. Uh, amazing. We got 300 likes. Please like uh, this this video, this, this watch party that we're doing. We're going to tell you all about what we're going to do. We have approximately exactly 28 minutes until the event begins on Core Sports. A reminder to everyone, we will not be showing match footage on this watch party. That's not what a watch party is. You must go and purchase the pay-per-view for yourself. Then if you want to stick around and hang out with us, we'll just be giving our commentary, not play-by-play necessarily, but we'll be reacting to the matches. We'll be talking about what we've seen, and we'll be going back over a lot of what we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks, which is, you know, who's going to win? Why are they going to win? How are they going to win? And we will kind of break down what we are doing. So let me be clear. I understand that people have difficulties in their lives and they may not be able to get the pay-per-view. That is not my problem. I understand it. I can feel, I feel bad about it, but there's nothing I can do, nor will I illegally stream the show in order to benefit you. So if that's not what you want, brutal. Exactly. So get, get the hell out. If, uh, if that's, if that's your deal, fair enough. big, Big day for arm wrestling, uncle John, you've said enough. And I'm sure we forgot someone here, Uncle John, the man, the master moderator, Mr. M- you know who? Mr. Mazel Jador is the Who's already day. probably let these people know a hundred times exactly is going on. Thank it you, Mazel, for all that you do. There you go. So Mazel Jador is the chat daddy. He will kick your ass out of here if you're being ridiculous. Wait, 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 wait. I have a question though. Yeah. What are these guys doing to get kicked out? Because I'm not, I'm not for. Don't you worry uh, about that, Gary. Don't I'm you worry for, about that. I'm not for banning people too much. So make sure you're not banning everyone for. Everything. It's usually like, for spam. It's usually for spam, Gary. Spam. Okay. So people that come in and they're like, "Where's the pay per view?" and then they just click it in 800 times in a row. Okay. Okay. Understood. Understood. So, uh, big day for arm sport. It is a huge day for arm sport today. Yeah. Today, of course, is the king of the table live from Dubai. We've got Mazahir Seydou versus Coach Raymond's Lipens. Uh, we have got Schoolboy versus Larry Wheels. And of course, we have Michael Todd versus Devin Larratt. This is a match. Of course, the main event is a match that we've been waiting for for close to a year and a half at least it was supposed to happen in the WAL. Uh, we've been teased about it. We've seen the guys go back and forth a hundred times and it is finally here. They are all in Dubai. It is going down in a matter of moments. 
25 minutes and nine seconds. Um, and so, Cobra, when was the last time you were this excited about arm wrestling? Boy, it's been a long time. I mean, I'm excited about it when I see Danes from people, you know, people that uh, we've shared times together in the past as I've been out of the sport and see them, you know, and they, mm -hmm. they still, they get at me and talk to me and ask me questions and such. Sometimes we close hands. And when I see those people uh, <clears throat> reach their goals, that excites me. But this year is electricity this year. It's big, you know, just as I said on my page a couple months ago, just having Larry wheels toe dipping in the pool is just like the biggest thing that's ever happened. Uh, yeah in an overnight kind of situation for arm wrestling, even without this event, what he's done uh, yeah. in casting eyes on what we do, our subculture, it's uh, it's like a miracle. I'm, I'm reinvent I feel reinvented. I'm, I'm closing my hand, as I told you already. You will see this mofo again on the table. I can't wait. Yeah. This is a quick toy me, Cobra. Is he telling me the truth? What I think Cobra is telling you the truth. What I said, boy, I told you I've been closing this hand right here, buddy. <laughs> it's time for some hand judo. You know what I mean? <clears throat> um, Gary, I got an update from Mizell. Mizell says uh, he's only hiding people. So then they can't, they can't be seen on this stream if they uh, are spamming. So they get hidden. But yeah. if they come out with, you know, the big bad words, like, you know, the top, the top big bad words, the the bad bad ones, then then they get the, the okay the the, 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 the I invite I invited Travis Bajan on. He says he's gonna come on uh, right after the Larry Bo uh, Larry Larry Boy <laughs> and School Wheels <laughs> School Boy and Larry Wheels uh, match. So nice. So B T T, T Bajan will be yeah, in the house. Yeah, bring him. Today. Yeah, come on out now, kid. Yeah, what's he got to do? He got nothing better to do. Yeah. Uh I don't know. He was I'm just thankful he was willing to come on. You never yeah, know. Of course. He thought two hours commitment was a little long. Uh she's so full of drama. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <clears throat> so, gentlemen, we'll do it. Let's do a, a quick recap. We still have about 20 minutes before this thing goes on. Oh, we got our first super chat. By the way. If you guys uh, in the chat have questions that you want us to answer, feel free to super chat them out. Uh, there's 700, there's almost 800 people in the chat. So it's unlikely that we're going to be able to catch all of your questions. But super chats, we will do our best to get to all of them. Canadian Chihuahua says, I haven't been this excited for an event since the early UFCs over 20 years ago. Let's go. Do you guys think that this is something similar to those early UFC events and this could really launch us into the stratosphere. I mean, it, it would feels be awesome. like it would be awesome to think that that's a reality, but I, I I'm scared of getting hopes up for anything. So I, mm -hmm. I keep a, I keep a one foot on the ground always, but let me tell you, that would be great. That would be great. Cobra back when you were involved in, uh, you know, the movie over the top and all that stuff was going on. Do you think arm wrestling was as big or as popular or is, are we reaching kind of that level? Yeah, we're, we're, we're breaking, uh, I think new ground now in the numbers department. Yeah. Because we were so grassroots uh, back in the day and before my time, it was so grassroots in the, in the word of mouth days, you know, in the, uh, the tournament list days that you were on, you know, <clears throat> Yep. They, mailed, they mailed flyers to you. That was a different time when you had to make phone calls and find out where the events were. And Yeah, I, the flyers were, were still going when I started in the sport. I still got flyers every sure. now and again back then. It's good stuff. Yeah, I, I think before, that I, back in the old, old, old days. You know, yeah. I think to be down. honest, in the internet, in the world of streaming, this has to be the peak. Because when I was in during my heyday, uh, I mean, I mean, arm TV was your only choice we were with regards to streaming. We were even before YouTube. So, yeah. and then YouTube really had, hadn't had its shit together when I was fake getting out. Then you have the UAL, then the wall. And even so, like, if you look at 
the channels exploding, they didn't really start to take off till the last couple of years. So I don't think, I feel like regarding like maximum arm wrestlers, maximum fan base, maximum exposure, this really is the peak for all the things being right to gain that maximum audience on the internet, you know? Love it. I, yeah, I, I don't think it'll slow down. I can't see it slowing down. There's so many yeah. people on the planet and, and it's such, I mean, our subculture is so awesome. It's, I mean, it's almost scary to like how the talents that um, would have never been found that haven't been found, you know, folks that are dead and gone now that probably could have won world titles, but didn't even know we, we freaking existed. So that's, I mean, it's, it's a whole new world. I have an important thing to say. There's a few people that have contacted me and they're like, it's really fishy to have to call your bank and authorize an international charge. And I'm here to let you know, it is not fishy at all. It's 100% normal for a bank to have guards up when it comes to international purchases. Any international travel I've had to do, I have to call my bank. I have to let them know because it's at least three times I've been flagged at an ATM machine. They're watching your back. In an international airport. And they're just looking out for you. It's not a weird thing to have to call your bank and say, this is an international event. It's in Dubai. And it's not weird at all that your bank would be flagging a purchase. So if you're having trouble with the pay-per-view, you still have time. Click on the link or call your bank. Have them okay it. They usually give you a 30-minute window. Be like, okay, you're good for 30-minute windows. Easy. Easy peasy. I can't believe if you're like in- an arm wrestler hasn't even – didn't have this thing bought already. Maybe they didn't think it was going to happen. Didn't it get more expensive as it went? Is that yeah, so? Yeah, it started off cheaper. I mean yeah. – it's, it's like, kind of bizarre, but it's like th- three dollars more than I paid for it. I mean, yeah, it's like eight dollars US, right? It better now. be a good show, or I want my money back. Yeah. Ozzy is Ozzy arm wrestlers. Ozzy. Morning, hey. ready, bang. Well, I'm not right. sure if it's morning or afternoon where you are. <laughs> um, I have double booked myself today. I forgot uh, about three or four months ago. I promised Ryan Blue Bowen that I'd be on his stream as well, so I'll jump back and forth, but of course. Because actually, out of everyone, Arm TV, Uncle John, and Ryan Bowen have been the huge flag bearers since uh, the Aussie arm wrestlers started. But I am already on to my second beer. Do I you am have your very. Beer. Yeah, that's that's a beer. That's right, Cobra. <laughs> I'm glad to see that beer. Well, welcome to the party, Aussie Arm Wrestler. We're just kind of getting things kicked off here. We got a couple more super chats. We got Jace with another $5. Says Uncle John has a weak hand and wrist. Man, are you seeing this? By the way, there is that mustache <laughs> is off the chain. I'm glad you went with the whole Coke and handlebars, brother. There is no, you're not allowed with a mustache like this. You're not allowed to have a weak wrist. It's just if not. If you live in Canada, brother, you have to understand that Uncle John has just got the force of the 24 inch pythons and the mustache. <laughs> Uh-oh. This power he's coming. So everyone in Canada, what you're gonna do when Uncle John runs wild on you? I think I am too excited. We sweat tw- you 17 minutes to go. I'm too excited. I've woken up like it's Christmas morning, and I'm waiting for the arm wrestling world to wake up. I'm looking under the tree. Nothing in cares of these matches now. It's so exciting. I've got hardly any sleep last night. It's just uh, out of control. I'm so excited oh. to oh, jump in. Oh. Go on, can Gary. I, can I jump in? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is so important. Here's a problem. Forty-eight percent. Dude. Go ahead, go ahead, Gary. I couldn't sleep last night either. I keep having dreams, Uncle John. I keep dream. I keep waking up, and there's a little voice in my head saying, "You picked the wrong guy. You, you bet on the wrong guy." I swear to God. I swear to God. S- something was interrupting my sleep last night, saying. Maybe Devin's going to win this. And it's like, damn it. You can't. You, I'm on team, Michael. So it's really interesting. I couldn't sleep, but it was very specific for reasons why. So You know what, Gary? You might be right because I slept like a goddamn baby last night. I woke <laughs> up and I was like, just it was just like Devin had me cradled. And I was just in yeah. my bed, just like, oh, this pancake smell is so nice. 
And it was glorious. We got another super chat from Nathan Moorhead. He said, people being declined need to call their bank. Throwing up a red flag using card for a company in Great Britain, I see in the chat, and I had the same problem. So there you go. Just like Gary said, uh, you can get through it. You can do it. You must do it. Get this pay-per-view. I'm very... uh... Very disappointed with some people in the arm wrestling world. I've woken up this morning, especially some of my fellow countrymen, and they still didn't know where to watch the pay-per-view. They still hadn't bought the pay-per-view. They're asking me and scrambling around. I'm seeing it in your chat. I was seeing it in Ryan Bowen's chat. Uh, like people still thinking these watch parties are going to stream it for free. It's just uh, still blowing my mind. I thought I w- hadn't woken up properly, but it's just, yeah, it's, it's, it's madness that people think, yeah, see someone already, will you guys stream it for free, please? No, that's against the law. <laughs> and we love the art wrestling world. It's like eight bucks now. Come on. It is is crazy. So I've been on the chat for about an hour before we actually went live. And so many people just are want it for free. It's like you have one opportunity to donate your eight bucks to support the sport of arm wrestling. This is your time, man. Come on. Don't be weird. Absolutely. (laughs) So uh, also uh, we know that a lot of money has been spent on this already. All the staking is now closed. Everybody, it seems like everyone sold out for the staking. Uh, I know that the the big guys, Devin and Michael, they had refreshed stake uh, boxes, whatever you want to call them, like four times or something like that. Um, So a lot of money has been spent on this. And that is a very good thing uh, for arm wrestling. Uh, I want people to understand that we are not just here to you know, get our jollies off. That's only part of it is getting our jollies off on the best event that there's ever been. But the other part is growing our sport. That's what I'm most concerned with is what is happening next? Where are we going next? Uh, We got guys like Larry Wheels, Schoolboy, Devin, Michael, all these guys who are involved with this are all very integral in pushing the sport forward. And that's what we're trying to do here today. We're not trying to take away from the event. We're trying to add to the event. We got 882 people. When was the last time 882 people were watching a watch party for an event? I don't know if it's ever happened in our wrestling. Well, it hasn't happened on Arm TV. This is the best. Right. uh, That's those the best numbers I've ever had. But not only that, think about how many people... Um, I think when I left Ryan's channel, you know, there was 500 there. How many are doing uh, Artem's watch party? So, we, oh. you know, there's, oh, you know, close to 2,000 people all getting together uh, and joining watch parties. It's a monumental time. Uh, you know, I think May 28th will be forever known as King of the Table Day. I think we, we've just donned it. It should be a public holiday for the world of arm wrestlers. If you arm wrestle, the Aussie arm wrestler is declared at a public holiday, so you get a day off work every but time. It's desperation day. What do you mean, king it's, of the it's table? It's going to be BDD, desperation day. <laughs> yeah. BDD, ADD, before desperation day and after desperation yeah, yeah. day. That's what it will be from now on. We got more super chats coming in. Thank you guys so much. Ermi's Desperini, he says, uh, Neil said earlier that today Devin had a conversation with him that makes him and Laws feel like there is an upset in the making. Get ready for that hot chip, Gary. <laughs> yeah. So Devin posted a video that said that in his mind, Michael Todd looks nervous and kind of like, oh, oh, snap. yeah, yeah. And for some reason, so the interesting thing about that video is he's doing this thing, but then he throws in like, in parentheses, and Michael's got a small hand. I was like, wait, is he? I'm not, it was sounded like a really weird place to throw in, and Michael's got a small hand. And I wanted to ask you guys, is like, is that like a, a difference maker here? The size of Michael's hands? Well, I mean, the size of Michael's hands hasn't changed in the last 10 years, anything yeah. all that significantly, right? Right. Um, but is it like a big minus for him? competing against Devin, his hands. For Michael, I mean, Michael knows what he has and what he needs to do. He, Michael can arm wrestle to the best of his ability with the size of hand he already has, right? 
Fantasy 3D. Sorry to interrupt. I'm reading in the chat. Fantasy 3D. How to watch for free. Did anyone find the site? Just buy it. Just buy the pay-per-view. Come on, yeah. mate. Stop trying to find free streams on all different websites. Come on, mate. This is Bum. one massive night. We got Nashville Arm Wrestling. Says Uncle John, the stash is effing epic, brother. The cream of the crop. Thank yes. you, Nashville Arm Rob- Wrestling. Wrong person to quote, but that's okay. Right. <laughs> and um, can I say something to the people in the chat here and the 950, 15 people watching here? From the bottom of my heart, I want to thank you for being here. Man, help us get to 1,000. I want to be able to say we hit 1,000 here today. So let's and let call your cousins and brothers and aunts and uncles. Oh, tell them to- you, you'll, you'll hit 1,000, Gary. Don't worry about that. 1,000 people yeah. will jump in, I think. Yeah, people are setting their alarms for like five. I guess that's true. We haven't even started the matches. Yeah, the show <laughs> isn't on yet. We also got Joe Fox with a six ninety nine. Good old Canadian. Uh, thank you, Joe. He says Cobra has the best background. Let's support our great sport. Aussie arm wrestler is the man, and not sure not sure who those oh. other two guys are. Ah, <laughs> what a gem! Who is that from? Joe Fox. Ah, oh, Joey boy. Champion, yeah. great puller, great puller. Yeah. Also, Matt's COVID mask with a six dollar uh, super chat says, "Doctor Devin is going to straighten Michael's elbow tonight." Ooh, that sounds like a good uh, promo. Quote. We just we just hit a thousand. The internet heard me. <laughs> thousand seventeen. Oh my goodness. Ninety eight blower coming through with another five dollars. He was a big supporter last night on our live stream. He says, "Good day, brothers." Ninety eight blower, you are the man. So do we think because today is Desperation Day, happy Desperation Day, everybody. I am going to put that in my calendar and message you guys this day every year. Happy Desperation Day. (laughs) Will Engen buy the pay-per-view and watch this? Uh, I think he will, but he won't tell anyone. Yeah. (laughs) So Engen what? Do you think Engen will buy the pay-per-view and watch this live, Cobra? I mean, he should, right? Oh, (laughs) <laughs> yeah. yeah are you saying because he said if you don't support something i hope you don't watch it yeah just that and his whole beef with Devin and the i thought, the, I thought he's not over it they haven't kissed and made up yet I mean, not on. publicly anyways no come on so it'll be <laughs> uh we oh, have a thousand when do they bang when do they start banging What's we have a thousand on? people, but we only have five hundred and twenty-seven uh, up, uppy thumbsies uppies. Come on! Hey, listen, you guys. Oh, you could. We have a thousand people in there. One hundred at a time. Just stay in, in line. I want you to go to uh, Uncle John um, Wrestling Show. I want you to go to Uncle John's page and subscribe, please. He's the freshest voice uh, in our sport. The guy's really, really super talented, and he cares about arm wrestling. <clears throat> so go check him out. Of course, by the 200s, come to my page and subscribe. <laughs> I, I mean, look, I'm just a beggar. And of course, uh, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Show yeah. me your beer. Uh, Show me your beer. Yeah, it. there it is. There it is. There's a beer. Beer. And subscribe to the Aussie arm wrestler. Okay, folks? Thank you. Enjoy the show. Which, should I cook during this show, Uncle John? Cook something good. Yeah. Well, Love it. By the way, chat, don't forget to go over to Cobra Road's channel. Uh, it's got the new channel up there, has got some exclusive content from the Hawthorne tournament from a couple weekends ago. So go subscribe there. Subscribe all over the place. And of course, you are watching on Arm TV. We want big oh, yeah. numbers, big numbers today. We're all growing together. Uh, this is the beautiful thing about the arm wrestling community where we are all here together with each other because this is what we do. This is what we love. Uh, and it's a beautiful thing. Sap the Bee with a $2 super chat. He said... Engen literally told everyone on his page to buy. Oh, awesome. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, uh, uh, it was a genuine, not, I wasn't, yeah, hanging shit or trying to stir the pot. It was just the genuine, <laughs> I, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I, I, that's what I would have thought coming from Engen. I know he's a pretty proud man and he wants everyone to donate to his event. So I, I yeah, assume. Yeah, proud, all right. Yeah, I assume <laughs> he, um, he, he would have bought it, so... Dr. Death with a $5 super chat says, what Dr. Death, oh my God. they have? That's awesome. 
I love it. I love what we do. We get to meet people. Oh, like yes. That. My favorite, my favorite troll name is jumped in for a super chat. Five dollar cleaver to Dina. That's my <laughs> out of all the troll army. He knows it. That's my favorite one at the moment. Cleave it to Diener with a $5 super chat. He says, can you smell what the Cobra is cooking? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, Uncle John, are we allowed to talk about your uh, super chats last night? Uh, sure, we can talk about super chats. What was your total? It was close to 600, 600 something. What? We had a huge- oh, night Divided night. by four? Uh, everybody will get a little kick. Everybody will get a little kick. <laughs> uh, I don't. I for, do you think we can hit that today? I, I, Daniel Yurick, does that? Did that guy? Gary, stop begging. Just, just enjoy the ride. I'm just stop wondering, begging. did Daniel Yurick hit the lottery? What does that guy do for a living? Dare, uh, Dare, Daniel Yurick is a uh, owns oh, a tree, tree falling company. Oh yeah, yeah, tree faller. That's right. Yeah, tree falling. Yeah. You got tree falling, Gary. Gary? Uh, you I ever been in the woods? People watching, amazing. Uh, Gary, you ever been in the woods? You ever been camping? Hey, Gary, you ever been camping? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Gary on the beach right now yeah. in his air-conditioned cabana. Anyways, hey, Gary, John, we were in a congratulations for that successful. Uh, thank you, and thanks to everybody who was there and supported last night, and thank for, thanks for you guys for being there because we had our. It was a really great show. We went for about two and a half hours. We broke down all the matches. We talked about the the odds one way or another. Yeah, uh, it was it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed being a nerd about arm wrestling for a few hours. We got Lloyd Christmas with a ten dollars super chat. He says, "Shout out from Derek Smith's Discord. Love all you guys. What a great time for our sport. I could not agree more." I concur. That's a nice segue. That's a great way. I am going to pop back out. I'm going to go back and forth all night because I love everyone double booking myself and. I couldn't, uh, you know, with with Ryan Bowen and you go three. Nuts, bro. Go nuts, go nuts. Go I, see that. I, 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 you don't no give a idea damn. How grateful I am that I'm going to watch this event <laughs> with uh, four uh, extremely awesome dudes, guys. So I will thank you, everyone in the chat. 1,100 people. Uh, you guys definitely deserve it. And I'll see you guys real soon. All, All right. right. When you come back, wait, wait, let us know how Ryan is doing. Are you going yeah. to cheat? On, you're going to cheat on us? No, I accidentally double booked myself, Gary. Ryan messaged me kidding. after the thing, so I'm yeah. just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, you ready, babe? All right, guys, we are getting very close. We got Hoofhearted seventy-seven with a four ninety-nine super chat. No uh, message, but thank you very much, Hoofhearted. Guys, we are at the two-minute mark. I am going to go use uh, the the restroom here very quickly. And you guys uh, give us a little preamble, okay? Okay. Hello, hey, everyone. Cobra Rhodes. Hey, you I'm putting on an event June 19th. Can you come up? Uh, probably not. I'm probably going to be in Miami June 19th. Because um, you're not too far away. We could, uh, we could hang yeah. out. Well, maybe. We'll, we'll, talk off, we'll talk off live stream. Let's, uh, let's, let's anyone else, if anyone out there of the thousand people, if you guys are near uh, uh, Travis is going to come on. He already told us a little bit later. So Travis is on standby. He's going to be watching the live stream. And he'll, come, he'll come in after the Larry wheels and schoolboy match. Uh, plug, got to plug uh, my good old uh, ROTN return. That will be June 19th. If you guys are within drivable distance, or you want to get on an airplane? When begins the show, Gary? Still like two minutes or something? Three minutes? One I'm, minute, 15 seconds. Oh. I'm actually having trouble getting it on my TV. I had it perfectly fine until I reset yeah, it. Yeah, I'm at so. 109. 109. Um, there is no zero. Yeah. It's coming, ladies and gentlemen. I bought it. The time is now. Uh, if you are not on with this, uh, I hope you can get there. Again, we will not be uh, showing any uh, any, any live footage of, of this. Yeah. This is basically hey, how boring do you think it's going to be before they actually come to combat? How bo are we going to be like sick of something? <laughs> is some oh, do we have something to bitch about? Because that's very arm wrestlingy. It's very arm wrestlingy to bitch about something. <laughs> it is. You know? It is. Uh, we will see what's going to go on. We'll, In we'll twenty five seconds. 
in 25 seconds. We'll be, well, I don't know what the format is going to be. I don't know if they're just going to hammer through the matches or if there's Neil and uh, big laws are going to do a big wind up or intro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we're about to see, but we got 10 seconds to go. Hopefully the site does not uh, go, go down or anything like that. They're like that. flying by the seat of their pants. They're doing, I'm, I, I wish I was producing this thing. They're like doing the intro and they're going to have Neil like ripping it. Like, oh, it's kicking on. I have a red circle going around. I, do you? I have a red circle as well. Okay. But you know what? Try again. Stream not started. Try again. Don't, don't start this shit, Uncle John. Remember? <laughs> Just did the same thing to me. It booted me out. I got out of in 55 seconds. It could, you know. What? What did you do, could. Gary? Did you blow the system? No, I'm just saying uh, that could happen. It did happen. Right. Well, I'm saying, you know, you never know when, when things just get first started. All right. So I have been able to get to the, the broadcast page and it just says stream starting soon. Okay, mine says not started yet. Try again in 28 seconds, and it's coming down. It's got a okay. try again button and a home button under it. I would say just hit hit that uh, hit that reload. Try again. Uh, I have a page. It looks it's like not letting me. It's making its 14 seconds countdown. All right, we'll give that a go. Right yeah. now, I do have access to the actual stream. It's just that they haven't actually started it which yeah, is exactly in. typical of what I would expect for any arm wrestling stream. To tell you the truth. I mean, so I watched the, the, the boxing. I mean, the production looks amazing. Yeah, they it does clearly, look very good. They clearly spent uh, a few bucks on this. Like, I mean, I'm in there, man. Can I have Dream some of this money? Soon. Any of these guys who have all these million dollars that they can throw around in TV production, come on over and sponsor or arm yeah. TV. we yeah, got big plans how to do it, right <laughs> however you give, me some of, give me some of that money we got a five dollar super chat from fear me hz it says refresh the page for the stream yeah so if anybody else is having difficulty just keep refreshing you might have to re-log in uh right now i just uh, have I'm the pictures i'm seeing live moving pictures you are seeing live moving pictures yes. ah banned, there we go in the room mine just kicked in yeah they just pan the room to their uh their table tents Oh, it's looking yeah. good. We got a nice it's setup. Looking, we got Michael like Tan on the left, yeah. Devin on the right. Big screens. Yeah. yeah, that's like the same thing that they were showing on the uh, on Devin's little teases of him doing the boogie down the catwalk. Remember? All right, we got we got uh, some background noise. Yo, what's up, Travis? Too loud. Look too loud. That's Travis calling Gary. No, we're not showing the videos. No, you gotta pay for it, Travis. Oh man, I wanted it to be free. <laughs> I thought I thought if I came on with Uncle John, I should have known you guys had Cobra on there. I knew I wasn't gonna get nothing free. What the hell, Gary? Hold on. Okay, who's not muted? Are you are you muted? Is your stream muted, Cobra? I'm good. Can you hear me? My so stream you hear Neil? Okay, so Gary is he's got his to Travis. He's all he's all like enlightened by travis so he doesn't he could give a shit about what we're doing right okay well that's a little better there we go yeah, there you go gary all right so everybody in the stream again we are not streaming the live event but the live event is now beginning it looks like yeah. there's uh there's a decent crowd there they're spread out most people wearing masks it looks like as per usual we've got bill collins uh coming in here yeah. Oh, okay. So they're using um, the down referee. Looks like it's, I forget the guy's name, but it's one of the guys who's, who originally started pulling with Larry oh, in Dubai a long, long time ago. I forget what his name is, but he's a, he's a strong guy. He's a, he's a good arm wrestler. So it looks like he might be the, the down referee. Have you seen Travis's kid, Adam yet? That's pulling this all together or whatever. Uh, I did see Adam right away. I don't know where he's not on the screen right now, but I did see him uh, right out of the gate. I remember that guy when Travis used to carry him around, you know, now he's blown up. Right. So anyway, can I just say something for anyone who's in the chat and you're, you're trying to watch both audios. Yeah. It's gonna, you're gonna have to turn one or the other down. Uh, we don't have a perfect science on this, but uh, yeah. 
basically. So basically, this is we are a replacement if you just want to hang out and watch as opposed to listen to Neil. I'm going to go back and rewatch this whole thing with the Neil commentary because it's freaking Neil commentary. Yeah, You can't go wrong. So right now, yeah, I see Adam over there. Oh, okay, we've switched to Bill Collins. Bill Collins is holding an enormous sword. <laughs> <laughs> and it sounds like he is going to give uh, some kind of a rundown of some of the rules. All right, so he's Bill Collins is giving us a recap. Three foul system. He's talking about six rounds. giving a little bit of an explanation of the things that we already kind of have heard and already know. So for those of you uh, who are watching along, if you're new to arm wrestling, there are some wonky things that could happen here. There are going to be two types of fouls. There will be running fouls and there will be match stoppage fouls. Running fouls occur when a foul happens, any type of foul, but if there's no position gained, the match will continue going. If someone commits a foul of any kind, and it does result in a, uh, an advantage, gaining of an advantage, the match will be stopped and then restarted. So there will be a difference between those two types of things. And that difference will be decided by Bill Collins. It's really going to be on his discretion. Let me be clear. Bill Collins, in my opinion, top notch, top notch referee. He's got experience. He's, he's been around the sport for a million years. He's refereed a million matches a hundred times over if anybody can do it bill collins can do it uh, so i just tried to log in on my phone and the computer and it wouldn't let me it says you're already watching it so that's uh, good you can't password share <laughs> mm -hmm. so it looks like bill collins is done with his okay so that was a little i don't know why he had that giant sword but it was impressive <laughs> yeah. the reason that he had the giant sword is because that is the man is going to be able to hold it the winner yes of course gonna, that's their hammer now that's the event that's the guy that's got my job that's the event co-host that's the event host the live, the kid that Neil's going to be pumping to. Uh, you got to turn it down. Oh, shit. I forgot I had the volume up. I'm popping yeah. popcorn, so let me go back on me. <laughs> so we've got the announcer coming on in now. He's going to be uh, starting things off. It sounds like we're not going to have a huge amount of preamble here. We're just going to be going right into it. That was one of the things with the WAL where the WAL always spent a lot of time with like video packages beforehand. And I, like, I can understand that some people really like that. It, it was never for me. I just, I want to get into it right now. I don't, I already know all the guys pulling. So yeah. just let me see him pull. And it looks like that's what they're going to be doing, but we shall see. I mean, do we, we are not getting any access of their live stream numbers, correct? Uh, no, I do not think they have that up or yeah. available. Man, Todd Hutchings is on. Uh, I can't believe Ryan Bones of the thousand and we too are We're a thousand. A what about uh, I want to go look for Artem? Artem is doing one. I did not realize that multiple channels could support a thousand viewers. That's badass. That's awesome. So, our Artem is a little bit lower, but so we're talking like 2.25 thousand two thousand two hundred and fifty people all watching watch parties for this event amazing okay i hear neil it's so neil's not there that's pretty awesome yeah neil was uh broadcasting from england i saw he did a live stream with big laws uh about an hour before we went live and here we go maza here say they gave a little card of him man he looks big he you know, is a thick it's, looking it's, dude. It's pretty clean, Uncle John. I mean, there's not much pomp and circumstance at all. They're like they're moving. They're, they're getting right to it. So I'm um, so far so good for me. The two thumbs up. 
I love it. I love it. This gets me. Yes, baby. Fired up! Come on. I, oh my God, I can't oh, believe it. Oh, geez. The, the, the production quality is very good, too. Like, yeah. the, they've got the cameras. They've got, like, the upper uh, swiveling cameras, whatever you call those. Uh, bo- what do you call that when you got a big, like, boom camera or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. I Like a jib. Jib. All right. So, Mazda here, Sadu, is at the table they're now introducing good old Coach Ray, Raymond's Lipens. Now, if you remember, uh, they did weigh-ins the other day. Mazda here is much bigger than Coach Ray. He weighed in at about 230 pounds, while Coach Ray was coming in at 195. Uh, Mazda here is going to have a significant height advantage. His arm is significantly longer. And this is a matchup that is good. all about styles. Coach Ray going to be looking to go inside with that super powerful press. Well, Maza here is going to be ripping outside. I guarantee that's what's going to happen. And here we go with match number one of King of the Table, the greatest, most <laughs> historical event in arm wrestling history. If you aren't wound up for this, I don't know what to tell you. You're really good, Uncle John. <laughs> oh, I love this. I Uncle love John, this. you got to wonder by looking at the kid, the kid from India. Yeah, he should fear nothing. He should jump right inside with Ray. He, you know, that would maybe be uh, an interesting way to start this out. I'm sure Coach Ray fully expects Mazza here to go outside, mm-hmm. but to have the guts, that is guts to go and meet a man yeah. in his power, you have to, you have to make that decision. And this well, is a tough guy, one to make. this dude that's pulling Coach Ray. He better have some power, or he shouldn't be there. A hundred percent. You right? at this level, you should What's be up to the weight, 40 everywhere. kilos. He was 230 pounds. Oh, is that all? Hey, Uncle John, where's the wall branding? I thought wall was affiliated with this. Well, I don't they see were up on, they were up on their meat eating board. I they mean, were up with all the with the Conrad and all that, but they obviously froze them out so far in the live event. But they're on that back wall right there. They, they were just gotta they've just got the combatants up now. On all four, on all three screens, right? There's okay, screen uh, two so I screens. can't. Are you guys catching why they haven't started yet? No, I'm They're not just hanging out. We're trying to like, oh, wait a minute. We don't have to sound right. We don't have cameras right. Uh, yeah. They're waiting for chalk. So this is waiting for chalk. Very possible. So the down ref is Sergio. Mazel sent me his name. Sergio is one of the guys. If you go back in Larry's videos over the last year, he's been there a whole bunch. And he was one of the first guys before Devin came to visit him, before Michael was there, he was one of the guys that was like, okay, I know how to arm wrestle. And he kind of set Larry up on his initial push into this, this last year of training that he has gone to. So big thanks to Sergio. He was an integral part in uh, pushing Larry and, and helping Larry get to where he is now. Uh, now, Sergio's role is incredibly important as down referee. So hopefully he was able to spend quite a bit of time with Bill Collins beforehand and uh, really understand, have a comprehensive understanding of the rules, when to call something, what he is required to call and what he is not required to call. Hey, uh, can I say that I was mistaken? They spent some time branding the baseboard. So the table was thought about. Anyways, last night I was afraid maybe... Well, just looking at Coach Ray right now, I'd be covered like NASCAR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Top to bottom advertising. Here we go. Match I mean, number one of the first matchup of King of the Table. He, he dwarfs Ray, but Ray's shoulders really, really look impressive. His shoulders Ray, real. Ray is pushing forward. Ray's elbow is, is really pushed all the way to the front left corner of his pad. Uh, Maza here is a little bit, he's forward as well, but he is, he is, he looks like he's cocked and ready to go backwards. It's amazing how sh- stuff looks so good when the lighting is right. Like it looks really yeah, it good. It looks fantastic. I mean, it's amazing. Bill Collins is getting all of the webbing lined oh, up. Oh yeah. Oh, he just actually absolutely dominated. He didn't even oh, hit him. He, oh he, he, my goodness. He, he hit him slow. He, that he, was he in like, a hook. Yeah, yeah. He he almost didn't he almost didn't go. He just like 
kind of got the position and went like, oh, yeah, Uh-oh. he's supposed to fit him. So Uh-oh. Mazahir in round one. Right inside. Oh, How bro. about them apples? Mazahir in that? round one goes directly into a hook with Coach Ray and wins quickly. Wait, I he picked Mazahir, right? Didn't it. I say Mazahir? He uh, almost fell sh- down, didn't he? I think I think yeah, I'm you on picked Ray. You picked Ray. Surprised himself. No, last night's show, I said Maz here. Did you switch? I, uh, okay, I Gary, said I winners. said okay. once I found out he was 30 pounds heavier than Ray, that got con- that concerned me. Oh, so is maybe, that when I said I don't who cares about 30 pounds? Yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. I definitely I said I said I thought 30 pounds was significant. It didn't look like Ray could even slow him down because he hooked him sloppy. You know? So I have a question. If, if if you go in the match one and you manhandle a guy like that, and this is such a big stage, do you mix it up on match two, three? No, different? no, you just smash him right out of the competition. Go for the I, I go for the exact same thing, but I am more aware if I'm if I'm arm wrestling someone like Coach Ray, I anticipate that he may change his game up. And Coach Ray needs on the straps. Yeah, unless get you get whacked straps, again. Whatever you got to do. They're lining up for unless match get, number two. Unless, no, he can't do nothing with him. He, he can't do nothing with him. And he's being a sportsman. He's staying in there. Wow. He can't do Plaza here just too much power. Yeah. It just, it, look, that first hit might oh, not have been. Oh, man, I big. blinked. I didn't even see it. Oh, he's not messing around. Maza here is not to be messed with. Maza here is up two to nothing at this point. Looking absolutely strong i mean ray on that one at least got turned in to go into his press but by the time he's turning in he's already got a compromised arm position and he yeah. just doesn't he's just Even not able never to never letting his shoulder engage and this is pure hook i mean maza here is just straight i mean it's a high hook um but man it's impressive so is it weird that that they i mean i thought we would go right to straps i'm impressed right. Well, it's I all inside, Ray, Gary. If you got two guys I've been, inside, I've been told, I've been told can't do anything I've, with them. I've been told all you lead arm wrestlers want to strap. Pinned. So I would, I'm. Yeah, but Gary, but you forget, play when you're getting pinned. You forget, Gary, that if there's a significant difference, like this is Maza here showing that there's a significant difference in power, and if there's a significant mm-hmm. difference in power, you don't need you don't need it. Mm-hmm. Coach right, my point is, is that that be, means it's not even close. If you're not no, even going to the no, strap, that this no, is no. I mean, I mean, no. Coach, Coach, Coach Ray, Ray cannot beat him today unless he does something freakish and the guy falls asleep. Like Coach Ray gets his fingers, he can't. He can't do nothing with him. Look at that. That was a layup line. Up, oh, Coach Ray's got the stop on this one, but Mazda yeah, is able to transition yeah. immediately to that top roll and takes yeah. the hand and gets the third win. It was like a layup line. That was bad. I mean. It was just—it was good for the um, Mazatlan. Mazahir, Mazahir. Mm. It was good for him. He's yeah. happy. Very impressive showing from Mazahir Sadu. So basically, now he was pulling hard there. The first two matches were straight to the pin pad in a hook. That time, Ray was able to stop Mazahir in the hook right before the pin line. Mazahir transitions nicely, rolls out Ray's wrist, and take, took the third win. Mm. Now this one closes the deal, right? This, uh, I don't know if they're fully pulling to all four. six or not. Oh. But this would seal the deal. If Mazahir gets one more win, that would seal it. Uh, Big Ben says that he's seeing it one minute ahead of us. Hey, uh, Kent, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> yeah. Refresh your browser and maybe you'll catch. What do you see, Uncle us. John? Are they gripping up? Yeah, they we're feel. just gripping up right now. It seems like all three of us are exactly on, yeah. on the same timeline. So, so that's what okay. Really matters. Now, let's. I'm sorry here that I'm just from the producer. If I'm producing television, I'm telling Mazier, slow it down, slow it down, make the next light match last a little longer. We want grading. It's fake. You guys don't care. They're not that deep. It's not not fake, but Ted l- showing a little more cockiness. Yeah. All right. So here we go with match number four. Now we're going to the strip. The the, mm-hmm. the strap. I don't think it matters in the strap because um, the gentleman from India is so strong. 
he's so much stronger than him at at the start. Maybe now, if Ray, could, if Ray could start in a hook, we might have a match. Now, with the, the slow motion replay that we just saw was a perfect example of pulling your hand and curling your hand inside of your opponents, which is supposed to be an intentional slip. Okay. It was the perfect, it's exactly what happened. Coach Ray pulled his fingers in and pulled his, his hand out. They specifically said that would be an intentional slip and there was not even a thought to call it. So I'm not saying this is good, bad, or otherwise. I'm just saying this is kind not of going to tell are. us the story of what we can expect. So on that slip match, did it, Mazier, he did change up his strategy a little bit. He didn't do the exact same thing on the go. He kind of got caught inside a little bit, and then he was going to roll him again, and they slipped. But Ray would make sure he was getting the hell out of there. So do you think it'll be different in the strap? No, I think, I think the gentleman from India will – Dominate that. I thought if early, if Ray could get in there on the strap and let his arm strength take over. But this guy has all of the angle. It looks like there's nothing Ray can do. Yeah, I mean, the avenue that Ray had was inside. And Mm -hmm. Mazikir showed that he had just as much of that. (laughs) We're lining up. Bill Collins lining up now. So Neil Pickup said on the, the commentary that he thought Coach Ray should have a riser. I think that's what I just caught. Yeah, because... Coach Ray is definitely on the tippy toes right now. Yeah, he's smaller. Uh, would would a riser change it? Uh, well, I mean, it depends get on if it's used to or not. Get him, get him a half inch closer to his bicep. Get and him do they not have closer. risers? Maybe that's the maybe that's the problem. So Bill Collins closing the these bi- guys up. We're no, in the strap. That's a match here. No, no, the guy's acting. Oh. Uh, he, Coach Ray is uh, inside. Coach Ray has compromised the hand. Now rolling out. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's three to one. Raymond's mm. is mounting a comeback. Mm. Now here's the big question. Maza here obviously has a ton Ray of power up front. Oh, they didn't give him that one. What was the call? I missed it. The wow. running foul. No, well, it wasn't a running foul because they called the man. The, oh, the oh, ticker just running. changed. Running through fifth round, so it must be three one. Oh, so they did give it to yeah. him. All right. Ooh. Someone that's said match, I yeah. like RVJ's take on risers. What is RVJ's take on risers? I don't know. Who hmm. cares? But as you almost as individual. So we're re- we're we're going right into the strap now. Three uh, to one. We're three to one. We're going into round five, and they're just putting the strap directly. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa! See, because why? there was an agreement, Gary. If the two competitors agree, they can go directly into the strap. Yeah, but why would Mazier agree to the strap when he just got owned in the strap? Because Gary, knew. the producer, said, "Hey, hey, slow down." <laughs> uh. Interesting. Did you see the match we just witnessed? Yeah. Looks like he. Which told me Mazier would want to stay out of the strap unless he was just going a little lighter on Ray on that one. Did you see the match? Yeah. Going a little lighter. Did well, this one will tell the tale. We will yeah. see. Yeah. Well, he's going to come out like a Banny Rooster here. I mean, I've watched plenty of arm wrestling where people are up 3 0. They do. He's not giving the effort. He's not giving the effort that he should. It's a totally different start now. Ray is just not pounding the effort right in there good. inside. He's not Maz- the gentleman from India is not giving the effort that he should. That's what yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, so- yeah. Did, did he just – he just said, like, oh, I can't go. Gary knows – Vedic wisdom. Gary knows nothing. Yes, that uh, that is my role. My role is to fill in – ask dumb questions for people who don't know much about arm wrestling. Exactly. That is my role. Thank you. So what, what we're seeing here, snake book or some, I mean, um, what is it? YouTube, you reading YouTube, Karen? So yeah. listen, listen, you said you don't like fake. If Maz here comes back and all of a sudden has like a crazy explosive hit and pins Ray again, then you would know that like, oh, he did then go. Talk to the producer that you begged for. Yeah. I mean, listen. I think, I think three to two is better than four to zero. Yeah. 
Certainly, but now I'm confused because the referees are by themselves and Ray just went running to the back for some reason. I need a pump. My arm's pumped. Yeah. His arm's as pumped as Larry's going to be after the first match. Maza here standing to the side. Okay, Ray's coming back now. So it's three to two. In the last two matches, we've seen Coach Ray able to get inside and stop that initial hit, but we also mm -hmm. haven't seen the intensity of the hit from Maza here that we saw in the first three rounds. Mm -hmm. Especially one and two. One and two was a much different arm wrestler than we've seen since. Right. Even someone, round three. He, someone said he ran for liquid chalk. Maybe. So but what is the, yeah, I saw a chalk bucket, but do they he's not blow, have he's, bl he's blowing on his hands. So he's waiting for something to dry. It must, mm. that must've been it. Liquid chalk. Is that a game changer than regular chalk? I don't know. No, I don't know. Maybe I think it's, Probably affects your brain. I don't know. This is wait. Tough. So without listening to this, Mazel just said it's three to nothing, and they have it three to two. But we're not listening to the commentary. So are they just screwing up? And this is still the fourth match. No, no. Some of these guys are delayed. <laughs> Some of these guys are not watching the same. They're three, two matches behind. If they see three to zero, you can you hear the commentary right now, Gary? I mean, I see it's three to two. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, are they screwing up the graphic? Because WAL does that all the time, where they have the wrong score on the graphic. I can't hear. I can't hear. It's three to two. I think people's streams are just behind, to be honest. I mean... And here we go again. Uh, Coach Ray has him inside. Mazahir is holding him off at the pin line, trying to get anything he can, but Coach Ray is really holding him down. I'm confused. Did Coach Ray not try in the first two matches? What happened? Or did Ma the, is the bottom line Mazi here is not as zero endurance because he looked amazing and then he just fell off a cliff. Look, Mizell just retexted me and said it is 3 0 and now it's 3 1. No, these guys are behind. They got to be behind. My my graphic says 3-3. Three, three. Uh, but what if the graphic is wrong? What if they have some kind of yeah. bonehead running the I graphic? Heard, I heard Neil pick up, pick up share that the first two matches weren't real. That uh -huh. there was a call or something. Maybe he was talking about. Okay, I'm going to put the headphones down and listen to the stream. To yeah, see. please do. Yes, baby. So Mizel Jador is telling me that the scorekeeper is an idiot and is adding every single pin and it's actually three to one. You think that's what now they've, now they've changed it to two to two. What in the hell is going on core sports? Did you seriously give the reins of the graphics to a human who knows nothing about arm wrestling? Is that what's happening? Oh, wait. Are you telling me this entire time that the scoreboard guy hasn't seen like running? Yeah, fouls he's been something? fucking it up the whole time. No way. Because it does say 2 2 now. Yeah. So what the hell is going on? Uh oh. Well, it's harder for our people to follow along if we are off on the. Because we can't really listen, right? We can't we're listen to Neil. So. We're dependent on graphics. Oh, my God. So, Coach Ray now. Uh, really taking control, taking the wrist outside of the straps. So, so like a win to me. So check it out. Here is why you do have an undercard, a warm-up match. It does allow your production to kind of iron out some kinks. So yeah. if there were mistakes, uh, then hopefully you get those all cleared up by Larry and uh, Alex. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder who's running the scoreboard. Chat, we apologize if uh, we are not up to date because we were listening. Uncle John, to the score is 3 2, Coach Ray. There were running fouls called early on that gotcha. we didn't hear a call. So it's, it's right now. 
the scoreboard says three to two in favor of coach Ray. Um, thanks scoreboard guy, whoever you are for. Oh my God. So the graphics should have a running foul little marker. That, 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 yeah. That's a win to me. And they're bringing that to straps. Mm-hmm. Let's see the replay on that because that looked like a mega intentional foul. That was a win. Intentional slip. That's a win. I don't care. You call it what you want. That's so watch. Foul. Okay. So Ray is going to take his hand. Yeah. Completely bails oh, out. That's intentional slip on Mazier. For was, sure. I mean, you could argue that maybe his fingers weren't completely extended, but I mean, why, why are we going through all these rules and being specific about intentional slips? If we're never going to follow them, I been there. Well, well, I'm, we're calling that intentional slip foul in ROTN just FYI Yeah. or sure. June 19th. You guys want to come out and uh, join us. I got a kick-ass belt and giving away. Booyah. We have 1,000. It's, it's those situations exactly that one should apply the exploding hand technique. There you go. Do you not let that go. No, no, don't let them off the hook. But Coach Ray found some strength after what we thought was the third round. Right. <laughs> and the other guy got sleepy. <laughs> I mean, look, at the end of the day, we got more arm wrestling. So I guess that's a positive. Right. So if you don't have the running fouls, then this match would be over already. I don't know. I can't, I don't even know when the fouls happen because they never put them up on the, on the scoreboard. We're in the straps now. Running foul for the three to two bigger man. Running foul on Maza here. So Maza here has to win this match in order to Uh get a restart. Dude, look at Coach Ray. He just Coach Ray won it as easily as we thought the other guy won the first two. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Mazi here is more He's like done. a one-hit wonder. He hey, was strong right out of the gate, but no staying power. What like, was his one hit? Well, he his had first the, two, hit. the two first matches. Oh, in this match today. Okay. I'm just I saying he looked. Previous. No, I'm just saying he looked amazing for like a second. And yeah, then Coach but Ray just got all the more... time in super matches. It's guys who are super powerful up front, but they only have two or three matches in them. And <laughs> then they me play. right now, <laughs> maybe one and a half match in me. I mean, this is just why I love Look endurance. That big bastard. Oh, <laughs> because it's more impressive for a guy who can just get stronger over a series of matches than some guy who can just dominate for one match. I just. I love the I love the latter. So now Bill uh, Mizel Jador just told me Bill Collins said it's three to one. Wow. And so are they are we restarting that match? What in the hell is going on? Okay, oh, look, let, okay. You remember when I had a conversation last night and I said <laughs> sometimes the table gets forgotten about? Well, in this situation, the scorekeeper was forgotten about yeah. they clearly they have all their ducks in a row with everything mm-hmm. but i i'm not there on site to know the production layout but it's clear as day that the the scorekeeper can't hear what bill collins is saying right and is a little lost well i'm gonna try to put my yeah, headphones in and see if i can get the commentary been around a little bit as well are there a thousand people in this chat? Uh, eleven fifty six. What we up? Kinda, what up? What up? I mean, we were kind of hoping the 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 scoreboard would, would be something we could rely on. <laughs> yeah, because I don't have. We don't want to infringe on their commentary. Oh the guy from India doesn't even start though, and he really looks like an amateur. Yeah, he's letting himself it, get way wider open. Yeah, he looks open. like an amateur, and Coach Ray looks like he's taking it easy on him. You so, know, what? it's weird. It's really weird. So if you watch this chat at the very beginning, everyone's like, oh, Ray just got wrecked, 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 and it's like, boom. Boy, have things changed around here. Oh, my God, this yeah. is weird. And what? Money was bet on everyone evenly? Yeah. Is that Still- correct? I still you don't understand this anymore, right? 
all the blocks were sold on Ray and all the blocks were sold on the other athlete, correct? Uncle John watching yeah. it, breaking it down. Yeah, Uncle John, I, Uncle yeah. John, mad as hell, but he ain't saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle John, I mad just, as hell. Mm -hmm. All right. This. Okay, hold on. Let's do a super chat. Jace, ten dollars super chat. What a, a giant cluster f. Whoever was in charge of chalk and the score, and now this guy trying to foul out Ray. Uh, you know what? Listen, dude. This is the first production. I'm gonna give a complete okay that it's not perfect. I'm not gonna go hard on that. It's kind of harder on us, but. Yeah, this is an easy fix, man. Easy fix. They should be able to get this fixed by Larry and School uh, uh, Schoolboy. But uh, oh, when I put my headphones on, and uh, this was confirmed by Mizell, Ray said, "I guess they want to see twelve rounds out of this." <laughs> so it it seems like they are calling everything a foul. Which okay. Is but the thing that has me messed up is. I thought it started 2 0. Pretty yeah. Easy. Well, that it completely. Foul or no foul. This guy went from Superman to Minnie Mouse. Yeah. yeah. He went from Superman. To, he does not have a bump on his arm. Those so, first two matches, it's not like he blew out something. He went okay, from 110 to five miles an hour. So it's going to take longer to share this video because they're going to have to go through and re redo the graphics. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what the hell because... are doing? So outside of the strap, restarting, that was pretty pretty even slip, I would say. So now someone so said... Oh, had dude. a higher angle, but yeah, the other guy just looks like a complete amateur. What? So is, is it... not... Look at that. Ugh. Okay, look, for a guy like me who doesn't... I, I represent the people who aren't like as knowledgeable, right? It makes no sense to me why they had four matches in a row in the straps. And now suddenly this last match was out of the straps. Like I can't. Well, Maybe it's because we can't tell when, when a match is starting and stopping, right? Cause yeah. sometimes they're carrying over, but they don't, they're not marking it on the thing. So it says three to two for Maza here, which I think is correct at this point, but I'm not sure, but they have not once given a mark for, the foul system. They're yeah, saying we, three to two right now. That's what they say on the on the on the graphic. It says three to two. Oh, but you are three. Ray at three for him. They did at one point. They had it three to three. Mm. And then, mm. I don't hey, know. hey, can we just say? Can we just let's let's stop bitching because you know what just happened. I'm gonna. Mm. We just are you guys now in the chat. Are you watching this? Have you bought this? You guys in the yeah, chat. Yeah. If, they, if you bought this, put the number one in your um, what do they call it, text or something. In chat, put the number yeah. one if you bought this. Hey, uh, this. We want to see how many people bought this. This. All right, so hold on, Coach Ray oh, but, but, just but, took a match. We got to we got to talk about the match. Coach yeah. Ray just won a match, which apparently puts him at three to three. Okay. And so this means what this means if this follows through this means we get to see Devin Larratt and Michael Todd arm wrestle 12 times so which would be what, great what's just, wrong with that what's wrong with that on. yeah nothing wrong with that and if they do arm wrestle 12 times who does that favor uh it's really hard to say hmm I say we promote Mazel to official scorekeeper. I think he's doing a much better job than the actual dude. I don't know how Mazel is listening to that and us. That's amazing. He is amazing. Uh, so three to three now. I think we're pretty pretty sure. So, but then doesn't that mean that those first matches still had to count? I'm I'm so confused. That's really weird. Uh, uh, somehow they're saying in those first matches the other guy fouled or something because yeah. I swear he won two matches like a layup line there was nothing to it Coach Ray just kind of hung out and got pinned yeah right and at least on one of those matches the guy celebrated like he won yeah so I don't know maybe they called the foul after because uh, I don't know I didn't see any foul and definitely wasn't need to foul the first one he hooked him right down to the pad yeah he was yep. shocked when he was there almost. Like he stopped, kind of. Round seven. 
Round seven. This will be the tiebreaker. So they've got this. What is he spraying his arm? Maybe some of that cold, cold stuff. spray. Oh, oh okay. He's it's also still up. unclear to me. Well, it looks like Ray has. What's going? What does he need? Give me the. Give me that water. Give me that water. I. I need a shot of that. Give me a. Oh, now I'm putting on the magic aid for my sponsor, and I'm gonna flash Coach Ray. Oh my! That would be bad. That would be horrible if this guy whacks right now. Oh man, well, that'd be really bad. I hope he doesn't. Back in, but, Ray but takes. He's going through an awful lot of prep for this match, isn't he? It's very dramatic. Okay, so tell me how that was not an intentional slip. It was. Someone explain that to me. Is it just because they're they're claiming that he's got a tiny bit of flexion in his in his fingers? He's literally pulling everything aside and pushing forward. Oh my god! Listen, dude, it's one hundred percent an intentional slip. No ifs, ands, or buts. And uh, I just why why do we why do we waste time talking about the rules? Look at that! Look at this! Imagine letting someone away like that. Imagine letting someone slip like that. Can you imagine that? I'd go home and shoot myself if I let someone <laughs> slip like that. <laughs> do you know what I would do to that dude's life if his yeah. hand was presented to me like that so? Had to be crushed. Uh, explode it. <laughs> oh man! All right, Can so you we're in the someone scrap shop. their hand to you like that, Uncle Johnson. What's that? Um, you saw. You just saw that in slow motion. Can you yes. imagine someone serving it all to you like that? Like here it is, da, 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 and you let him slip. No. This guy went through a lot of preparation for this seventh and final match. Let's see uh, if he can miraculously muster up that control of a layup line. Let's see. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Well, they're trying to re- re-administer the strap. So Mazel has been messaging me, and he says a lot of the fouls, basically it was 3-0 for Mazahir. here. And then the foul wars began, apparently. And Sergio, the down ref, apparently was calling multiple of those fouls. Uh, wow. So I'm going to have to go back and listen with the commentary to figure out what the hell was actually going on here. But it's extremely confusing at this point. But it does seem that we're at three to three. Uh, we're in the straps. So the thing is, is it looks like most of the fouls are in the losing position. So if if they were running fouls... Coach Ray would still win that match, right? No, the losing position has nothing to do with the fouls. Except no, what the- I'm saying is what I saw is Mazier was elbow fouling and end up losing the match. That should still be a loss. The foul. I'm, well, that's just, true. I'm goofy. I didn't see any fouls. Yeah. They showed a close up of Mazier okay. trying to regrip. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see. They got the strap back on now. Looks like there's some difficulty. Ray's not liking it. I don't know. Ray looks very, very calm. Maza here has definitely got a sweat on. Yeah, he's. I mean, that presentation he did before the seventh match, that's the most he's moved in the last four rounds. Yeah. Putting that spray on and whatever he was doing. But now he's a lot more chatty, Kathy, you know. The last three rounds, he just kind of just kind of stepped up there and. Uh, congratulations, Coach Ray. Coach Ray takes the yeah. fourth and final win. Yeah. Good work, Coach Ray. What a comeback, huh? That was weird. Four to three. Now, now, not to toot my own horn, but this is exactly what I said was going to happen. That Mazi here may be strong enough in the first couple rounds to take over Coach Ray. But over time, Ray would be able to stop him in the middle. And that's exactly yeah. what we saw. So well, Coach Uncle Ray. John, that, was, that was weird. It was weird. It did look weird. And I want to go back and see what the shenanigans were all about. Because it was not clear. Please, for all that is good and holy, tell the graphic guy or get somebody that knows about arm wrestling to do the graphics. Because we need to know. Yes. Don't they know we're having a watch party and we're Man. relying on graphics? <laughs> I mean, it just shows that the running little running foul tags would be very helpful. Yeah, the running foul tags or just fouls in general would be really, really good. Uh, but congratulations to Coach Ray. Either way, that was a very impressive comeback. It's, uh, it's, it's difficult when you're down in a hole three to nothing and you are on the line. It is difficult to make those comebacks. Yeah. 
it would be interesting. It'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments they make. Yeah, and just I the mean, swag of that match. I mean, that guy, like, owned. It was easy. He went from handling Coach Ray easily to like struggling to stay in the center. That was weird. That was weird. I'm sorry. It was really quick. It was a really quick switch. But I mean, it's like we've seen that before. Some guys are just hot and heavy, real. Yeah, but it's like up nothing. Front. Uncle John, it's like nothing happened. He wasn't in a dog fight that like blew a tire or something. Yeah. He, just, he, just, he went from Superman to he sucked. <laughs> I mean, I think, I think sadly, I think the same potential is there for Larry uh, to be good in the very beginning, but then fade. His arm doesn't have that wear and tear. Yeah, it's not battle tested. Yeah. To get to get stronger as he goes on. Oh, is this a commercial on the pay per view? Yeah, I think they're running some commercials now for PR. Oh, the very, the very people. Someone says, someone says Igor must be laughing right now. The very struggle. I mean, listen, Igor has been doing the productions like this for four years. That's kind of an unfair. They, they'll get their shit together. I mean, hey, once the next are? match starts, we should all refresh our page. So we're all on the same timeline. Yeah. I feel like we might be getting a little bit off. You're watching Larry Wheels right now. Man, that kid's uh, got muscle, huh? Yeah, I do have the PR commercial going right now. Yeah. Um, but it's been going on for quite a while. So, well, once they restart. Uh, so next up is going to be Schoolboy versus Larry Wheels. I hope they figure out how to keep track of the fouls. Because, look, if they don't figure it out, the Devin and Michael match is going to be real tough to to figure out. Because there will be fouls. And they will be going hard at each other. And it's going to be very difficult to keep track of. <sighs> I mean, I'm having a good time. I don't mind. I mean, uh, is if if you were watching arm wrestling for the first time and you saw this, would you be like, I'd be like, it? what the hell is going on? Yeah, none of this is clear. I I've, I've been arm wrestling for ten years, and my response is, what the hell is going on? None of this is clear. <laughs> yeah. I so mean, the final score the, of Coach the, Ray versus Mazza here was four to three. Yeah. All right. I'm going to refresh my page here just to make sure I'm on the up and up. Okay. Wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Don't push. Let's push play at the same time. Uh, oh. I already did. Oh, poop. Because if I push play, I might not be. Well, let's. uh, I got a guy standing with a camera in front of the table. Blue mask. Yeah, but he just moved into that spot with. Yeah, that's true. Cobra, refresh your page and then we'll we'll hopefully all get closer to the same. Yeah, let's push play at the same time. All right. We'll we'll refresh. Okay. I could push play How do you refresh? at the very uh, top. Refresh your browser. But my picture is big like this. Oh, oh wait, can't so see it. hold on. Thing of table. So just go backwards for a while. Yeah. And then just try to, to refresh the, through the, the circle with the arrow. There's a the guy. He's like walking. Yeah, no way. We, put a second hand on top. Just put his hand on bottom. I didn't put push play top. yet. We didn't push play yet. So just refresh oh. that page, and then it should okay. give you like a, a play button. Watch well, live. Realistically, button. we should just be able to click go live. Live now. Yeah. So just click right. on go live, one, and it should bring us to live. So, three, two, one, pushing. Okay, fine. Red circle, red circle. All right. And there's a guy in a suit, bottom left corner, and another guy, cameraman. And another right. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. There's 1,200 people in the chat right now. Uh, feel free to throw some super chats down if you guys have any questions. The first match was interesting, to say the least. 
There was some massive confusion for us uh, because the scoreboard was not accurate in any way, shape, or form. And apparently there was some issues with some foul calls as well. Time out. Devin looks like a demon in that picture, doesn't he? Look at that oh, picture. Sure. Doesn't no. he look so sinister? Huh? What picture? Behind the commentator. Oh, I don't know. went dark. So we yeah, got the no commentator calling there. the boys out. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you guys saw that at a different time than me. Do you have school boys thing coming up right now? I see the announcer, but he only came up a few seconds ago. So there should be oh, something so that we're says ahead of live on the bottom left, Gary. It's like a big red button that says live. And it school will bring boys you, bring school you to boys the part. So schoolboy is walking out right now on mine. He's lumbering out. He's huge. He is lumbering out. He looks significantly yeah, bigger than the last time he's I saw him. Oh, okay. He's a little boy, but yet he's he'll like tear you apart or something. He's six six. Yeah, he is a big dude. Six five, six six. But somewhere. my question is, as he gets older, will he we always still call him schoolboy? I mean, I just call man. him whatever he wants. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's this guy? He's the English world's strongest man guy. That's one of Neil's guys, right? Neil is commentating with a guy named Big Laws, and he's one of the strong men guys. I think this is the first time he's commented arm wrestling, but he's he's did done commentary for uh, strong man quite a bit. Now he's only six one, huh? Six one two sixty six. So yeah, schoolboy weighed in at two seventy seven point eight. Uh, Larry weighed in at two sixty eight point five at the weigh ins yesterday. Yeah, so those sponsors at the bottom, not even WAL on the signage there. Yeah, no WAL at all. I saw WAL in some still picks earlier a little bit. Mm -hmm. But uh, Larry's not yeah. looking bad himself. Well, I don't, I don't think Larry has a day that he looks bad. No, yeah. not at all. Jeez. He's looking around like, like he's running this shit. Yeah. He's like, look at what I have done. All that you see is mine. And rightly so. Uh, Larry is a huge factor for this. And thank God for Larry Wheels. Because uh, without him, certainly, uh, we probably wouldn't be seeing this uh, right now in this. What's on this Larry's wrist? What's on his wrist? Uh, looks like some kind of bracelet. But uh, is that allowed? Uh, not usually. Yes, it is. It's Larry's show. <laughs> oh, he just took it off. Bill, Bill's going to say take it off. Schoolboy's got the angles already. Larry's reaching to him. Yeah. Look, Schoolboy is coiled right now. He's going to separate Larry from his bicep. We're going into the straps here, folks. Or we're going to the pin pad. <sighs> I mean, they're not... Oh, oh, he let up was, on him. Oh, Schoolboy owned him. Oh, no. boom! Easy, not Schoolboy close. Owned that. Not close. Uh -oh. Larry doesn't. He doesn't have the fingers or the ankle. He doesn't have it to stop an experienced arm wrestler like that. Now, this no. is that Schoolboy was as dominant as it's going to get. Huh? That was as dominant as, as it was going to get. Yeah. Now, if Larry comes back. And pin schoolboy. <laughs> no. I'm no getting way. on a plane to Dubai, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna beat Michael and Devin in one night, both of them. Yeah, there you go. I'd pay. I'd pay to see it. So oh, wow. schoolboy shook his head so confident at so confidently at Larry. He, he no. said, "No, no, 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 no. This is not no. ever gonna happen." Now, Cobra, is there a chance that Larry Wheels just got uh, just got a little bit, uh, you know, flustered, a little bit flustered, and now he can kick it into gear? Um, I don't think he can stop. With what I just saw there, 
I, I think it's a lamp line for the schoolboys. Same thing I thought was for the Indian gentleman. So I, I mean, Larry catches it in a hook and beats him. But yeah, but I mean, Coach Ray WWE. had. Yeah, their experience completely different. I don't. I don't yeah. think Larry could do the same thing. But I think Schoolboy was kind there, allowing that slip. Larry, Larry's hand, his fingers are not. There's not enough. There's just not enough. It's not battle tested. Of course, he's strength. Schoolboy's Schoolboy's not going to let him become strong in these matches. Right. Why would you? Why would you? Yeah, there's there's no point to that. Schoolboy is is dominating Larry's hand, obviously, uh, and Larry is just not able to to get comfortable. Uh, now, uh, we've had a few comments on us being behind, but people got to remember that we are up to date with where we are in the video. But YouTube, when we live stream, they automatically make us 20 seconds or so behind, 10 to 20 seconds behind with right. uh, all that crap. So this is not a perfect system. Uh, but it is what it is for the moment. So th again, thank you all for joining us. We got 1,277 people in the chat right now. It is currently one nothing for Schoolboy, and we've just restarted the second match in a strap. Larry's got to try something else. Yeah, Maybe Coach Schoolboy Ray owns him. Schoolboy is posing. Yeah. Oh. And Larry was cranking there. He was really trying hard. But it's yeah. bad to be trying hard from across the street. You know yeah. what I mean? He was so far from everything. There's, I mean, it, it's not a good look. Look how open he is. Yes, he is incredibly strong. Look at the muscles. But yeah. they cannot not engage when I've got you <laughs> so behind it, it, my elbow pad. If you're schoolboy, can you just not even hit on the next match and just flex and just let Larry do yeah, whatever he wants? He's got the hand game, but I'd get it over with. But look, this is what schoolboy is doing. If you look, schoolboy is really going with that low hand top roll, right? He's got his hand cranked down and he is cupping and then pronating through. And what that does is it makes sure that Larry can't get him into a hook because Larry is yeah. going to be forced to hook right here. And that is not going to happen. So Larry needs to change something with his hand position if he wants any chance whatsoever. So if your schoolboy, if your school, knows what to do, if your schoolboy, when you say, okay, let's try Larry in a hook, see what happens. Now I do that tomorrow at the gym if you want. Right now I get my money. Yeah, look, it's the difference between as an athlete. I don't really care about the show. I care about the kill. Yeah. That's what I want. I want to finish. I want to kill. Now, if somebody tells me, look, if this is a match that goes the distance, we'll give you an extra 10 grand. Sure. Then we'll make it go the extra distance. But if it's just, look, you, if you win, you get this money. I'm going for the kill. That's it. Jeez, so the graphics are correct, huge. right? We're not, we're not right having now it's two big nothing big for schoolboy. We're up to 1332. Man, once uh, M Michael Todd and uh, Devin get on. Oh, it's going to go nuts. It's going to get crazy. So schoolboy with complete domination. Yeah. Let's see if yeah. Larry does anything differently. Uh, nope. Just, Larry's hand is just getting crushed. He was able and to he's escape. Off his arm. He's off Again, his arm go. hand fully closed, sucked his hand inside. This is the exact rule. This is the exact rule of what an intentional slip is. That's exactly what they described, and they're not calling the intentional slip, which is fine, but don't make the rule if it isn't going to get called because that's exactly how it was described. Yeah, I wish I was producing this show. I mean... I find it interesting when you hire these production companies who let's say do boxing and they've never done arm wrestling before. Like you yeah. should have a, a liaison, the professional arm wrestler as the producer. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they don't have that, but it just makes sense. Well, look, I think you're right, Gary, uh, when you saw up front, like, or when you were talking up front, like this is the first time, right? It's their first go. There's going to be issues I mean, we, having been a part of arm wrestling for so long, we, we 
can see these things. And obviously there's probably a lot more things going on in the background that we don't know about. They got to keep their timeline, all this stuff. So I don't want to seem like I'm shitting too much on anyone. These are just problems that I'm seeing as we go. Yeah. And once I go back and really digest all of this and listen to it with the commentary, maybe there are some things that I'm not picking up on, yeah. which I'm sure we'll talk about on Tuesday. Hey, look at his left forearm. How big that piece of meat is. Yeah, schoolboy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. He just window washed. Wow. Flash. And he's Flash. so, he is like the Terminator. He's so emotionless. Just a little sign of a smile. Welcome to like, Russia. From Russia with love. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. His forearm is huge. Yeah, he is thick. Um, so we were talking about what's better for arm wrestling schoolboy or Larry. It's clear. Larry isn't quite yet there. Yeah. Fine. Right. I mean, I think it'll motivate him. Right. He yeah. Won't. I hope it does. And that's, that would be my biggest wish is that Larry says, okay, I understand what is necessary now. Uh, I understand what I need to do. Hopefully coach Ray is able to stick with Larry for a little while, at least after this match happens and they can go back and they can look and they can say, okay, where did we go wrong? What were the issues? Was it Larry just being on the big stage and not being prepared enough? Uh, was it that schoolboy was just, you know, schoolboy is on the war path and he has got, obviously he gained a ton of weight and I'm assuming a lot of that went into power. Uh, what does this mean for schoolboy? Where does this put him? I mean, is this more that Larry isn't ready or that schoolboy is this solidifies in the minds of the casual viewer? I believe that this will solidify schoolboy as like a mythical creature, <laughs> right? Because we already saw him beating all the regular Joes out on the street, but now to dominate Larry Wheels in this fashion, like he just flash pinned him like he wasn't there. So here we go with round four. It's three to nothing. Schoolboy is in the lead, has been nothing but impressive thus far. Straight down again, just traps his hand. There is nowhere for Larry Wheels to go for nothing to Schoolboy. Now, I wonder, are they going to they gonna pull the other two matches will be the question. But it's, it's just full I mean, domination, right? Schoolboy is completely encompassing... Larry's hand. Larry has nowhere to go. And it's all about the start. Larry is not fighting enough in that setup to get what he needs to get. And schoolboy is taking full advantage of all of that, which also is exactly what I predicted last night yeah. that Larry was going to have trouble getting set up and starting. Cause I'm he's never been in the situation before. I'm going to mute myself so I can call Travis. I'll see you guys in a minute. Sure. So four nothing for Schoolboy at this point in time. Looks like they are going to pull the other two matches as well. Harry Roberts is getting uh, Travis Bajant on the horn right now. Uh, I would I would say uh, this is going to be probably six zero unless Schoolboy really decides to allow. It will be interesting to see if Schoolboy allows Larry to go deep into a hook with him and just goes right straight into Larry's power. That's what I would like to see. So we can see what. Larry can do if he does find his lane. So we're on to match number five. Uh, we've done a much better job this time around of the scorecard. Uh, it's been accurate as far as I know. It looks like we're going directly into straps. I'm not sure. I think it looks like they just agreed to it. Again, thank you all for being here on the stream. We were at 1,400 viewers. Absolutely amazing. Thank you all for being here. Um, yeah, so we're, we're strapping up. Bill Collins applying that strap. The buckle is on schoolboy's hand. I really don't think it's going to make too much of a difference. Um... Here we go. Gary, you're still muted. Oh, there you go. Is Travis coming on? Uh, he didn't answer. Are they, so they're going to pull the six no matter what. 
I think so. Okay, so now Schoolboy goes right into the power of Larry Wheels. We're deep in a hook. He's holding him in the center of the table. He's allowing, oh, he oh, is absolutely see, uh, uh, showboating, showing the world that Larry is not close. That's so, what that was. Yeah, so he just went into the hook and did exactly. Not only did he go into the hook, he let Larry bring him all the way down to within an inch of the pin pad and then casually brought him back. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there is no more dominant uh, way that that he could win it. It is it is playing a game. Hey, do I should I send a message to Travis to see if he comes on Zoom? Yeah, yeah, link? yeah. He was uh, he was concerned about being able to have two devices, so I'm not sure what he's doing about okay. it. I'll shoot this to him real quick. Yeah, Impressive uh, from school. I'm board. glad he does not drive sideways for most positions. You know, oh, thank God. Because it, it, he's so strong, you know. I mean, I'm so like drive like we were talking about last night, Larry Wheels should stick to the tournament system and kind of work his way up. Well, he definitely needs more reps, right, in, in a competition setting. I mean, do you uh, – where do you go from now if you're Larry Wills? Keep setting up matches? I mean, you could do you could do one of two things. You could like it depends. Is Larry actually gonna if Larry moves back to North America, that's probably the best thing that he could do for arm wrestling because he's gonna be able to go and hit multiple tournaments. You know, in Dubai, I don't think they're doing tournaments on a regular basis. If he comes back to North America, he can he can hit multiple tournaments. He can set up. He'll have an infinite loop of of all of the super matches he could ever want. And if he does dedicates himself to that for a couple years, he's going to grow a lot. And because th this is exactly the problem that I predicted was going to happen, he just is not attuned enough to to do what he needs to be able to do and utilize his power in a real true competition scenario. Uh, someone just said Larry just got school bust. Ugh. School bus. <laughs> yikes. I mean, I do like you call it fake arm wrestling, but I think it tells a lot when schoolboy says, okay, I've won. Now I'm going to test Larry and go wherever he wants. Yeah, but that wasn't fake, Gary. That's two right, separate but th things. But that's what I'm saying. I was asking for that earlier and you were saying, I don't want fake arm wrestling. I'm yeah. I'm so just that saying that wasn't fake arm wrestling. Right. That was showboating. Right. Which yeah. is what I like as a producer. Okay. When I say slow <laughs> it down, showboating is the answer, right? Like right. Show But that doesn't down. work unless there is a significant difference in power. It's over. Yeah. Schoolboy is. The so schoolboy takes it 6 to nothing in incredibly uh impressive fashion. Um Really good stuff. I'm two for two. Coach Ray takes the win in a very impressive match, four to three. There was some shenanigans, uh, but schoolboy uh, really doing a nice job there. Six to nothing over Larry Wheels. But again, thank you, Larry Wheels, for doing this uh, because he uh, is really the key factor here. We'd have a yeah, five dollars. It's going to be very interesting to see the number of eyes. Absolutely. Well, we got 1,500 in this chat right now. Uh, Luca DeRose with a $5 super chat says, ha ha, he should stick to more reps. It's It matches that is. I died when you said that because all he does is reps in the gym and he doesn't. Yeah, that's because I'm not talking about, I don't know, maybe I'm confusing your words, Luca, but yeah, I'm not talking about reps in the gym. I'm talking about reps matches. on the table in a tournament setting. That's what I'm talking about when I say he needs more reps. Exactly. All right. I will be right back, gentlemen. We're taking a quick break uh, on the stream, it looks like. And then we'll be back with Devin and Michael. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us. Make sure you're hitting that thumbs up button. And, of course, please subscribe to Arm TV. Uh, trying to do, not at this level, coolness, but we're trying to do some cool stuff. And uh, the more subscribers we have, the the quicker we'll get to our goal. So please uh, sign up or subscribe. We appreciate it. Uh, 
continue a plug June 19th hosting my first event in Long Grove, Illinois. Uh, I'm really excited about it. We're doing uh, eight divisions. Basically all the entries come, you know, let's say you have 50 entries. We'll divide it by eight. So there'd be roughly, you know, four, four guys per class. We're looking for eight guys, one from each weight division to do a king of the table style um, person with most matches wins. Then we're paying all the way down to eighth place. We're paying out a percentage of uh, revenue for the ad revenue from the show, ad revenue for the channel. I've got a belt that's being produced. Lots of cool stuff. So please uh, come out and support that event if you can. You know, uh, someone's, Amir said Larry's overconfidence. Really, I mean, he, he's... No, Larry's inexperience is what beat him. I mean, I'm saying like... I think it was just good marketing for Larry to be confident to begin of with. Course. Like, like, why not? I mean, you're, you're testing yourself in arm wrestling, but you're also marketing an event and it's awesome. If you're confident, I mean, you should go into this confidently. Yeah. 110%. I don't think Larry did anything wrong or whatever. He was confident said six. zero. I kind of knew, but that was extremely unlikely. Um, but here's the deal. Larry is important to our sport. And I hope that Larry just takes this and uses it as fuel uh, to get better and then identifies uh, everything that, that he needs to do in the future. Yeah. Because uh, he will get better. He has all of the tools that he needs. He just needs to put them all together and, and really get them in. Agreed. And I mean, we didn't have any scoreboard problems right there. Yeah. So that was pretty good, but there also wasn't a whole lot of fouling going on. Uh, yeah. So. Um, Vdex says Gary organized super match between Chafee and Eric Spoto. I've been on record saying I have no interest in super matches. I like the, uh, open tournament format and, uh, I'm doing my ROTN style. So my events will always be, I just invite all and, uh, you know, I don't, Oh, it we seems should, scary uh, to me to promote. Chat. All right. Well, great folks before the main event. Thanks Gary for your diatribe. Um, if you get the chance folks in between these matches, go and check out, uh, John Thompson, uncle John's arm wrestling show, like subscribe all the great content on there. Gary, we have to think about others sometimes. I love you, brother. Um, and check you me out too. I'm Cobra Rhodes. I love you. Gary's going to be doing some great events. You got to come to Illinois this June and come see on. The ROTN. I, I, I've never had an audience like this before. It'd be dumb not to uh, promote that or plug that. Come on now. Yeah, I am plugging it. Um, listen, you guys come out there to ROTN. We'll probably see you out there. It's like a 90% chance I'm going to be able to make it out there. Get to close hands a little bit. Talk about arm wrestling, get chalked up. Get you used to the icy hot for you rookies. And uh, we'll see what's happening. See what's popping. Gary's got a whole new concept for the game. He's trying to get flying. And uh, I think it's good for you newbies to come in a, come and check it out. 100%. And, uh, and we'll have a good time. Also, take a look at this mustache. Oh, wow. Uh, someone said Cobra treats Gary like a child. It's not true. <laughs> Uh oh. It's weird. Is he in? Turn that camera there, Travis. You're a little sideways for us. What? He he made oh, it. Little, little change of there. And we can also can't hear you. I got background. I'm changing locale. I'm going to put money that Travis we, does not have his stream Travis, up. If you, if you can hear me, we cannot hear you and you are sideways. Oh. <laughs> 
So, ladies and gentlemen, we've got uh, Travis Bajent on, but we've got no audio. We need some audio, and we need Travis to turn his camera sideways. Okay, that's that's good. That's looking good. Very nice. What up, Steve? But can we get audio is the big question. Press the button, boy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't see there a button. There he is. We got, got you. We got you. Now, can I do this or no? no yes. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. What's wrong with you? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are about to go into one of the greatest matches in arm wrestling history. And to join us, one of the greatest arm wrestlers that has ever existed on the face of this planet, where you, whether you love him or whether you hate him, he oh, is whoa, 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 whoa. That's, no, 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 no. That must be Cobra's introduction. I gave him a better one already. I'm just letting you know, I am the best arm wrestler that has ever lived. There is no doubt about it. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. It's, I'm glad to have you guys on my show. Thanks for coming. Hey, thanks for allowing me here, Travis. I appreciate it. Do you have the stream up, Travis? That's the most important question. Um, Hell no. You know what? I do. Okay, because you are absolutely worthless to us if you're not watching the matches. Hey, we got another special guest coming now, in. Now, all you guys have now, it just says king of the table, right? Uh, no, you should be having a got, uh, Michael and Stevan talking. Oh, hold up here now. I don't have that now. Hold up. Hit the live button. Ladies and gentlemen, connecting his audio right now is the one and only, the man from NatFit, Jamie Sheldon. What's going on, buddy? Hey, am I in? You're in. That's what she's in. in. Do you have the uh, stream up, Mr. Jamie Sheldon? Watching it on my TV. I'm watching Michael Todd and uh, Devin talk about themselves. Beautiful. Oh. Are, are you guys? May, the number one thing is to make sure everyone's on the most current live aspect of it. Yep. Nice. So, Jamie, what are your what is your quick uh, recap and thoughts of the first two matches? <laughs> what took Ray so long? Yeah, that yeah, was kind right. of weird, wasn't it, Jamie? Did you see those first two rounds? That I mean, you got to hear it. We didn't hear it. Yeah, I was wondering what took him so long to to kind of connect and, and do what he does. I mean, I I was kind of. I got news for you. It's because the other guy was better. That's why the other guy won three nothing. The other shit is just retarded that that thing even continued. And let me tell you something else about the broadcast. Boring. Yeah, no pomp and stuff. I feel like we've seen the same shit. This is exactly what we've always seen whenever someone at very first time gets some money is they clean it up too much. They make it so slow. They take part in a sideshow and then they get the same commentator to do the exact same skit, you know, with the same shit. So hopefully the YouTubers will make this successful. Well, Nancy, at least. Okay, are you so everyone's yeah, got the right match? I can't, now I can't, I can't disagree with Travis on that. I can't disagree with Travis on that from a business standpoint. I think, I think he's one hundred percent spot on, and that's not to discredit. Hey, and listen, not to, just like you said, not to disgrade because I did it too. I we, have we've brought all done the deal it, yes. over, did the super matches exact same way. I've done it, so. <laughs> Okay, so Monster's walking out. You guys got that, right? Yep. Yeah. Hey, he Devin looks, looks huge. Quick roll call. Who is everyone going for? I've got Devin four to two in this. Gary, you are on Team Michael. Team Michael, four to two. Uh, Jamie, what are you? what is your pick? Well, um, I told Michael, he called me a couple of weeks ago. I told him I got his back. It's America. It's an American thing. And Devin always bets <laughs> for some reason. Devin always bets against me for some reason. He tells me that. I'm like, all right, whatever. It's fine. Travis, Travis? Do you care who wins? Uh, yeah, I think it's um, – I, I have a horrible prediction that the match does not end in six or seven rounds, that we have a early stoppage of the match. And um, I am going with Michael Todd two to one. Why? And what's the early stoppage for? For injury. Mm. Really? 
Mm. Yeah, and I'm praying that that's not, but I just feel like these two guys are bigger, stronger, awesomer than they've ever been. They are they are really – this is their chance to see if pay-per-view – and both of these guys will be on continuous tickets – if in fact this is successful. So I think this maybe means as much to either one of them that it's ever met in the history of the world and that they are going to go really hard. And both of them are always in awkward situations. So imagine the most awkward situation when you are the strongest. And I just hope the shoulder, the wrist area doesn't give way on, on the mighty Canadian. Well, let me tell you what, Devin just walked out and he looks like he got into some of the nuclear ooze that yeah. was uh, from the, the Ninja Turtles shows uh, back in the day. He is thick. He looks like he invented arm wrestling right now. <laughs> oh, man. 293 pounds plus. And you're looking good. Look at hey. you, Uncle John. I'm Did you guys early, Michael Lake. That's how it's going down. Did you guys just see the hand slap? Michael Todd went for a handshake and Todd uh, Laird slapped him away. Wow. He's Devin not is interested. <laughs> look, at that. look at his head shape. Love it. Here we go, everybody. Look this your haircut. Devin's also, Bill Collins either. has to keep his cool, guys. Bill Collins could fuck this whole thing up by, yeah. not, by getting emotionally involved. He's laughing about it. So Bill Collins been, looks thinner. Than usual. Hey, listen, Devin did not move when Michael's hand wilted. Devin did not, but we've seen Michael's hand flatten out like that before. But Devin did not move. Oh, he looks mean. He looks. Oh, oh. my word. Look at these his, boys. Are big boy. Well, they're both big. Devin looks big. Oh, Kevin's running, so uh, tall, man. The listen, show right when now. a guy's Devin's taller than you, that guy is, in fact, your daddy. Daddy. It's just yeah. a fact. You know it. You know it. I you know it. It's horrible. Oh, you can take his shirt off. Oh, he's thinking about it when he goes two and zero. Oh, he said, "That's why I get Cobra heavier. was always dominant against those light guys. He was taller. I get heavier. Than I don't yeah, want to be quiet. Much. I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. I'm gonna leave oh, it on. Devin is standing strong. Ooh, he, he so went out. Devin oh. is already talking about that intentional Work. slip, and that yeah. looked like an intentional slip. Michael had his yeah. hand balled up. That's exactly yeah. where's the game plan? Where's the game plan here? Didn't it already stated that all you had to do was hold tight for 30 seconds? That that is true. That is Who's true. Yeah. That? It's crazy. Where is it? Do you think they just forget all that shit when they get up there? I well, wonder. well, I know we all do. I think we all do. Yeah. Is Michael sweating? Mm, almost. I is Michael the pores sweating? Opening. Pores are opening. Hey, I got a question for you. How many pounds a piece are these guys going to lose by the end of this match? Sweating? Ooh. You, at least five, five to six pounds. Five pounds. Piece. Yeah. If Devin doesn't kill him right now, oh, my Ooh. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> at least five good. pounds each on that shirt. And then they can <laughs> sell, sell the shirts on eBay or, or whatever. They Whatever. should have backed the table and Bill Collins up closer to those big screens. Now, look, is Michael sliding in with the shoulder now? Are I think, we gonna uh, hear? I think Travis Bajan is wrong. These guys, their arms, they'll, they will not break. They will not hurt. No, I just, I mean, I just realize how delicate the situation is when you're in a bunch yeah. of weird situations. And I know they're both strong. Yeah. Now, in the first two starts, we saw Michael uh, going Devin in, didn't budge. trying to go Devin for that like slip. The question is, is Michael going to change that hit up now that he's in the strap? Will he hit differently? Will he hit into a press? Will he hit somewhere else? Will he go straight back? Travis going to have a better answer. If he problem. starts pressing, if he's pressing, it's for two oh, reasons. Boy. He's overconfident in or trouble. he is in Michael trouble. In trouble. <laughs> so Devin goes early. He's taken a foul on that one. So I'm. it's not clear if that's two fouls on Devin because he went early. 
before they put the strap on as well. And they're not marketing. This anything. is where Bill Collins needs to get his shit together right now. Boy, Devin really looks like he invented arm wrestling. He looks very confident, but you keep so saying that. You keep saying that just to piss me off, don't you? Hey, Travis, Travis, <laughs> Travis. Ahead, I need to say this though. Go ahead. When, you come see me when you learn how to top roll. <laughs> Travis, when Gary posted that video from the uh, Mohegan Sun and you were telling Ron how to beat Jerry. <laughs> That was like 15 years ago, and people were still trying to figure out how to beat the press. But you told them exactly how to do it, right? Yeah, well, it's a lot easier to coach it than it is to do it. You were yelling from, from there, and I'm like, holy crap. And you did that like 10 years later, 15 years later. Amazing. Right. Yeah. People should watch more video. <laughs> I hey, agree. T. hey, T, your kid's doing well in football, huh? You getting ready to suit up again? Everybody's killing it. Beautiful. Tyson. Here we go. We're about to start the match. We're strapped up. We're closing hands right now. Boom, we're they're both on. Oh, they're both climbing. We're stuck in the middle of the there table. There we go. That's Here Big Tom go. from Michael Todd. Now we're watching elbows, and Devin is taking more. Uh oh. Devin he... is taking more. Ooh. Oh, he looks huge. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh. Oh. me. Up, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Devin got a runner. No? Yeah, what's, what's, he, what's he not happy about? What am I missing? Mine froze up. He probably, <laughs> won and he probably won the match and then was adding salt to the wound by complaining nonetheless. So that was, he was a Devin was that... never in trouble. Uh... So I, it's not clear to me if that was a win or if we are restarting. Man, how, could that, how could that production work perfectly the whole fucking time until right there? Man, I am frozen. Me. I am pissed. This that ends up being refresh, baby, again. refresh. So I'm watching it from my TV. Oh, it takes like five minutes. Somebody's saying that the scorecard is off again. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. So wow. they must have called some kind of... I saw Devin foul. complaining about something, but... So I'm guessing that Michael had a runner and then he let it go to get the... Or no, Devin had a... How would that work? And then Devin already would have had two fouls and then that would have been a third foul. I don't know, but we're going to... I'll tell you what I just saw. Uh, Devin owned that match. He took his time. They both tried to climb a little, and then Devin shut all that down and stood up tall. Yeah, super patient. Super yeah. patient. Was not worried at all. Yeah. He so, didn't even race to the so, pad. He just pinned Travis, him. Travis, Big Ben says, tell Travis to talk about how he can beat both these dudes. <laughs> well, I think that it's not just me. The problem with arm wrestling today is there's 15 people now, Devin's a across this universe. There's 15 dudes listening oh, or watching Devin's this thinking wrong. that they're still number one. That's why we should all be there. There should be 16 of us there, yeah. not just two. Uh oh. The pump begins. Boom. We are back into this match. Devin is taking control. You guys are still right seeing now. this and mine's frozen. All right. I'm going to have to hang up because I don't want to say any swear words on this show. All right. I'll be you right back. I'm going to go outside I, now. I'm still frozen too. Break into Devin? the bowl. There we Devin go. He's doing everything he can. He has Michael. This is where injuries can happen right now. This is where injuries can happen. Oh, why isn't that camera Devin cutting to Devin Larratt? Devin why isn't he confident. cutting to Devin Larratt? Oh. <laughs> wow. Devin is wow. on fire right now. Wow. Devin with complete control. Hey, what Devin kind Larratt of hot... takes that first match. It's one to nothing, Devin Larratt, in dominant form. Now, Michael now was able to engage that this move, and that Devin took a long time. Through. That took a long time for one victory. That could come back to bite Devin in the biscuit. Now, remember this. It did take uh, a while, but not Michael nearly Larratt. as long as the first match did in that WAL <laughs> super match in 2018. And Devin was waiting. Devin was bleeding Mike out for a bit of that time as well. Uh, can you tell me what kind of hot chip I have to do? The hottest. Yeah, the hottest, man. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Don't worry about that. You hit, Gary. <laughs> uh. Okay, Maya, if anyone's watching this on the production, 
when Devin Laird is pausing and looking at the crowd, you should not be on a shot of the back of his head. Okay? Check. Cut to Devin Man, Laird. I have 27 years of investigative camera work. Yeah. Let me just say this. Michael is sweating. Devin, let me just say that. Both these guys are blowing up now. They got the sheens of sweat coming off of them. Yeah. We're lining up for match number two. We got a long way to go in this match. Michael's falling back on the Kings move. Watch. Because uh, Devin, Devin's talked his wrist out of competing. De Devin's yeah, he might as well not even say go until he gets in the strap anyway. He'd be crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be slow motion on the ref now. Bill Collins is laughing. Something happens this match. We're going to no, it's Mike match three. It's match three. Oh, that's right. I thought I thought this. I thought it was two zero Devon. No, no, this is the one Michael gets, and then the problem happens in match three. Hmm. What do they say? The odd numbers are what matters. The odds. The odds. Well, I didn't want to do an even number and have it end in a tie and an yeah. injury. That would be awful. Yeah, well, we don't want anybody to get hurt anyway, but yeah. you just Does respect Devin the fact go, that these Does two Devin dudes want to roll go inside here. Can you say that again, Cobra? Does Devin want to go inside here early? I think he he proved that he can dominate Michael's hand, and I anticipate that he's going to continue to dominate that hand. I would hope so, but it, it just looked his setup looked like he was trying to carve, wants to take his whole arm. He is trying to get as far past Michael's hand as he can. He is deep. He is yeah. fairly deep in that grip. Boy, the lip He's confident, too. He's confident. Yeah. Yeah, the lip service is galore right now. And Michael is, I mean, usually Michael is chattering back. Right. I mean, Michael has an RV that says world champ on it. I yeah. mean, he is against the wall right now. Yeah, but he's always down one nothing. Yeah, every one match of his life. The, That's true. the deep water or Michael's waters, uh, depending on how much gas Devin has, this thing could be over by the third round. Oh, wow. wow. Right, we're in the one strap. We're gripped up. We got a runner Michael, on Michael. Double team Michael. right off the back. Unless Devin is super powerful and changes things in the hands right now. Oh, they need to mic the competitors up. I want to hear what Devin's saying. You can see, oh, Devin's owning him. Why? Wow. Yeah, he's just too long. Oh, yeah, oh. Devin's owning him. Devin is owning him. Wow. Wow. It's not there for Michael right now. That is Devin, nothing. No, no way. Listen, Devin's hand was across center on Michael's side, and he did that. Yeah. That is, that is some dominant stuff. And also, <laughs> everyone who told me I was crazy – for saying that we we're oh, not going to see a king's move. Hey. No king's move. No it king's still, move. He didn't let him get into it. Listen, it's still not over, though. It's still not over. Mm -hmm. like, the, the armor's getting chipped. Look, Michael is smiling. Michael is smiling from center to the pin pad. Michael Todd was smi almost accepting. Yeah. Yeah, there might be a little difference. It might be a little difference. In those guys today, uh, so far there is, but it's never over with Michael. If Devin has enough gas, if he's fresh enough, it doesn't look like he's like he's chipped Michael's armor at all. I don't see any injuries; just big pumps. These guys' arms are pumped. Michael, yeah, it's, a, it's it's an awkward it's an awkward fast start as well. I don't think that. Uh, I don't think Michael Todd's got the, quite the timing down, too, that's needed, but that dude, the other dude looks too big. The other guy looks too big. Devin looks massive. Now, Devin was breathing pretty heavy in between, trying to get that oxygen in. Michael looking still. Michael is not wound up at all. He's just calm and cool. Usually, he would be freaking out right now. Too docile. Too docile yeah. right now. He needs yeah, something. but he does that pansy shit, too, sometimes, where he just keeps looking at her he does that <laughs> shit sometimes <laughs> That's true. hey if he gets one little piece of something it 
it in the positive. Yeah, it's it's a, yeah. Right James. now's the time not to be okay with it, Devin. Don't wake him up anymore. Where he starts crying, he starts sitting over there crying to himself. There could be a fucking problem. There's another level, but it looks like he may not get to that level until it's over. It yeah. might be over. It, actually, it might be the it's next one time match they can bow down. It's one match from bow down and last. Hey, buddy. That's it. We're going into round three. The strap is being applied right now. Michael has the buckle. Michael doesn't really care that he has the buckle. He's talked about that quite a bit in the past. Who's he talking to? I'm not exactly. Probably Rebecca. (laughs) Michael still uh, appearing to be in good spirits. Not uh, Devin just laser focused. Devin is laser focused. Michael is looking back and forth. I I want to think that this is part of Michael's game plan, but when when is the trigger going to get pulled? Oh, Maybe wrestling. Devin will try to do some crazy shit and show us he can pull a bunch of different ways. Oh, boy. Ah, shit. So Michael tries to go inside with that but press. That, that, that's not the end don't. for Michael, though. But with Devin's power, it might not matter. Yeah. He bowed down. Devin called the winner. Wow. Michael bowed down that match. He put his arm down, didn't he? he? I mean, Michael gave up. Michael gave up. Yeah, yeah. He put his arm down. He got a hug. Now, was that officially a win or was that a, yeah, that must've been officially a win. It had to be. And, and look at Devin's face. Devin, 100% he's no. laughing. This he's, is he's not trapped. the Michael Todd I expected. This is the Devin Todd we expected. I mean, the Devin Lorette we expected. 100% I expected Devin to come in like an absolute freight train. But I, I just want to hear Michael saying that he's now the strongest that he's ever been. It just Devin is that much stronger, I guess. Yeah. And hey, Michael, you know is, a, Michael is a smaller even, man. It's just, it's just today. Today, it motherfucker is up to nothing. If we're in any tra- kind of a traditional event, Devin's moving on. Michael's in the showers, baby. Yeah. That's yep. true. Buying a round of shots. Uh-huh. He tried to beg one. And there it is. We're outside of the strap. Michael doing everything he can, trying to get Devin down. Devin wants it over with. I mean, yeah, don't, he checked don't, out don't, about, he Devin, don't he checked out about seven and a half minutes ago. <laughs> I think Devin can Which finish. is the worst thing about one-on-one arm wrestling. This is the spot everyone's been at with Michael. He does not. I don't see the fire in Michael. Do you? No. He he doesn't seem like that guy that was talking last night. He's just waiting for an execute. He's begging. We saw fire for about 30 seconds in that first match. And it was just drained out immediately. Devin better be careful here. Not there it is. There it is. Yeah. Oh, just baited him in that one. Amazing. Devin takes it. That was round. Oh, my God. That was round four. He's taken four in a row without really thinking too hard about it. Can't believe it. Turn that down, Gary. Did anyone expect it to be this dominant? It's not me. Uh, It was me. Sorry. Dude, dude, I told you that I had dreams so last night. Look at the, look at this pin. Look at this wrist on wrist pin. Ooh. I mean, look at that special it. forces guy. I'm not gonna say what did I miss, but Were you I tuned in like very very late. Who looks like, hey, Jamie, who looks like they won it? And who looks like they didn't? <laughs> Crap. Well, I mean, I, hey, you know what, though? When I, when I, when I finally Devin's got the stream back up crazy. and running, I saw Devin was up and I saw him winning the third one. Devin, Devin going to put a, a, a punctuation point on it? 
Look at that. There, he ain't gonna lose. He's ignorant. That motherfucker's ignorant as shit. He is not gonna lose. No. No. You get six, huh? No oh, hand down. He He'll beat six. that motherfucker all all day long in Dubai. <laughs> and yeah. Best thing is for Michael get the, the fuck match. out of there. You gotta let him know they can't touch you. He let him in there. He let him in there, and the straps finally come out. Hey, is that Billy. the lighting on their uh, digital images, or does uh, Devin look like the Tin Man? Quit. Slash Don Under. Quit from that position. Mike's the worst. Always he laughing quit. about somebody giving up. This Dude, motherfucker's he... done. Did he quit that match, or did I? Yeah, he quit. Me? 100% he never he quits, quit. right? From from a position where I thought they were going to go to straps. Uh, Look, the they're going to pull the last match left handed. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow, he quit. He quit. What does this That's mean for Devin? In itself. What does this mean for Devin Larratt? Cobra, you look great. Michael Todd quit. Cobra, you look great. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> hey, oh, oh, not as great as Devin Larratt. <laughs> Are we really switching the pads? You get the kiss, another kiss. Wait, Man. are they really going left? It looks like they're switching. I the heard pads. Michael Todd say that he uh, he ain't want none of that smoke. Could we switch it? We had a couple of super chats come in. One from Andreas. Thank you very much. He's uh, saying Devin has completely transformed. Amazing. We also had Trey Love, and he says, and this was after Devin got Oh, deathly. my. Hey, oh, did anybody stake this? From here, it's bad. Did anybody stake this or bet? I did not. Uh, no. Who yeah. the hell dumb enough to bet on arm wrestling? Uh, <laughs> it never Neither. works out. Well, apparently, uh, I'm going to have to eat something hot. I staked my freaking tongue. Oh, well, yeah. That's okay, though. Yeah. Well, you're American. You should have You'd have been a weirdo not predicting that. That's 5-0 or what? Are they all done? I don't know what they're doing now. They just pulled left and Devin dominated them just the same as yeah. he did right. It was easier. Yeah. So the conversation has been dominated by Michael versus Levin. Clearly, that is not the match. No. It is the match not, not Devin one versus witnessed. Levin? The match, is, the match is not one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, everybody needs to be invited to Dubai. 16, 24, 32 of the baddest dudes so that we're not so bored the whole fucking time. Double elimination? Whatever the case, yeah. Or even single elimination by weight each round, best two out of three. I mean, but okay. listen, Hold on. Uh, I mean, they everybody, LaVon, um, everybody is looking at this saying, man, I, we wanted to see Devin pull other people today, not just Michael. How strong is he today? Maybe stronger than ever. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Travis and I spoke about this months ago. So we have to bring it up. Absolutely. If we were to compare super match one-on-one -on -one shows versus 16 guys showing up trying to get the title, come on, the 16 guys. It'd be more exciting, right? Than a one on one? Well, yeah, right. Even right now, everybody wants to see schoolboy arm wrestle Devin, right? Just yeah. to find out, hey, who the fuck's the strongest guy there today? Like, so that's what happens whenever in, you know, two out of three super matches, I think you still got enough. You still got enough energy to continue up the bracket. And it's obviously that this right here was less spectacular because the match wasn't as close as we all we needed it to be right, right? the schoolboy larry wills match nobody wanted to watch it and even even when i say nobody wanted to watch it there was a difference in talent right there so after the second match you're like oh and even the very first match i think we all checked out at 3-0 and we're even more checked out at three to three um, so the fact is, is that we, it would have been interesting to see the Indian right after his first two matches, then go against Schoolboy right after his first two matches. And we could have, you know, kept seeing some cool shit. Our wrestling is more like golf than it is one-on-one. -on -one. 
Let's not beat the dead horse. Listen, Larry Wills just let the people know that they're very happy with uh, the outcome and there will be more shows. Beautiful. Oh, okay. Well, hey, Larry, Larry, let me pick your match next time. You, they fuck it. They set you up, player. Let me help you out. I'm a very better matchmaker. I'll get you uh, Barry Born. We'll make sure we get a fucking statue of your ass go, guys. before it's over. <laughs> Man. Well, guys. So I just want to say that I was Devin, no limits, three for three in my predictions. Nice. Hey, I don't want to backtrack, but I went, you know, I picked the opposite side because you were so clearly Devin. So I was like, <laughs> I'll make it interesting, but I guess I'm going to have to uh, eat some hot stuff. Look, in this, in the sense of camaraderie and in making a show when we figure out what the chip is i will eat the chip with you i will put myself through that pain with you and we'll just both be a couple of idiots oh uh, that would and be we'll nice let travis thing. watch how stupid we are i would like to say we hit 18 we're at 1800 people watching that's a triple what we've done yeah hey, does that mean that those 1800 people didn't watch the thing too or watched it and let us talk about it well, hopefully they were watching it with us. Hey, yeah, can I give you guys, can I let you guys in on a secret? Yeah. I didn't watch it. I was watching it uh, as a uh, bootleg on Facebook, and I watched the first two matches, but it cut off when Devin and Michael got on. You stole so, it? Somebody, somebody was streaming it on Facebook? Yeah, there was an awesome fucking, the, the, the commentary was a little off, but yeah, I, they hocked it, but I couldn't find it once I switched phones to try to fuck with you guys. I couldn't find it again, and I wow. spent the whole time kind of listening to you guys and then oh, you adding are. to it. So don't, don't I, can't wait. I can't wait to watch it. Devin must have been awesome. <laughs> don't promote that. Don't even see this guy is totally plain. Oh, so I swear to God. Hey, hey guys. I swear to God. Back to the show itself. I'm watching the replay as they uh, sign off or whatever. And uh, it's been a very long time since I've seen Michael Todd manhandled. Yeah. <laughs> what? Did you, did you, did you, did you, it's like you set up the platform for that, for that <laughs> sound bite right there. Now listen, you, can you repeat no, no, no. yourself? Last, the last time I saw somebody manhandled like that, it was when David Randall got a hold of Travis Bajan at the Arnold Classic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that, was bad. that was bad. I mean, that man looked across the table and said, "Who's your daddy?" <laughs> hey, uh, before our before our audience before our audience disappears on us, can you imagine somebody said that to you? <sighs> hey, Travis? before we. Leave some of our Imagine art. the beast you would become if Damn somebody it. did that to you. Damn it. Demonstrate Please subscribe to the channel. Play, Please subscribe to Arm TV and uh oh, this beggar. Continue. Hey, we got a 499 super chat from Mike's man me, that says Travis, go smash that I'm not, bomb. I'm, not, I'm talking about Travis. Gary, I'm uh, talking about hey, Travis. I got a here. About Travis? What listen. I'll be on social security before Devin defends any sort of <laughs> belt that he has manufactured from winning this fucking match. Okay. You don't want the sword. Forget Travis. about that. Travis, These guys haven't the been in action for two years. It'll be seven years before they compete again. Hey, awesome. The entire feed was one hour, 49 minutes and 22 seconds. It was terrible. Eight bucks. I think I got my money's worth. Eight bucks. Yeah, I would great. never subscribe. I have too much pride. I would never buy that. They should have sent me a free. They should have sent me a free one. I mean, uh, John Thompson, shouldn't yes, sir. Larry Wheels, instead of one on one matches, put out some prize money if you were to let's just take i don't know what the payout here was 50 grand or whatever but if you had no there wasn't no 50 grand bullshit my motherfuckers got two thousand dollars and got lied to about splitting the pay-per-view get the fuck out of here with that fifty thousand dollar 
Bullshit. Anyway, Morehead said 499. I think we all just want to hear Travis one time giving Devin props. Oh, listen. listen. I don't need to give Devin props. He got about 1 million subscribers now that are going to be propping his ass up. And listen, he deserves it. There, Listen, anybody that gets paid and puts it out there and flies to Dubai and arm wrestles is a fucking stud. He doesn't need me to say it. He needs a couple more people to say you ain't shit, to try yeah. to keep him grounded just That's a little cool. bit. So, yeah, congrats to the Canadian man. I was rooting against you as usual, and um, great job. Nice. Uh, so going, going forward, Uncle John Thompson, if, if you're Larry Wheels, are you – in your brain, you guys talked about last night. You said he's a franchise, and you want to advance your franchise, and you have twenty grand to give away. Do do you just say, "Here's an open class, twenty grand, come get it," or do you just promote super matches like this again? Well, it depends on how much this made and how much this cost. Like, if they made mega bucks off of this, then they're just going to keep doing this. Yeah, we got to know the number of buys. Right, but I mean, how many times can you get? Devin versus somebody worthy. There's a, um, yeah, you can do it. Every, the format, the format's people. not the thing. The, the, the animal is the sport. The format, you can, I mean, ask G, uh, ask me, ask anyone. You can flip up a format. How much money you got? What you want? You know, you want it exciting or you want it boring? We can do a format. Listen, the old school, Gary, even the thing you're doing, that's all off Travis's hip. That one weight class shit that turns into four weight classes. No, I got eight weight classes, baby. I got eight weight classes now. Well, how, what, whatever. Eight you know what I mean? No. That's all from the same, from that, from that square number that Travis created with that tournament. Well, right. and listen, in, in, in defense of mathematics, I did not come up with that formula. It just oh. so happens. Two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64 is the way the bracket is separate. I just accept those numbers before other people did. That's all. No, Travis told me you can't do King of the Table for like 50 people. So you got to go do 16 or eight. He convinced me to do eight. And now I'm in love with it. We'll do open format to the eight. It's brilliant. Thank you, Travis. Check. A couple of the super chats. Mike's Madness says, I've been to funerals with more action. Team Travis, let's go. Travis, you've got I mean, to be okay, never. Quick. No I mean, one has ever needed like fucking Snoop Dogg and like they tried to do once again prime time boxing instead of you have and even UFC is fucking prime time boxing now but this bare knuckle shit the shit with Jake Paul that's the shit you have to do these days you can't dress it up and clean it up too much you gotta make it hood it's gotta be hood and it's gotta have some slow motion and you know we gotta we got to work on it, baby. Like, that was not anything different. Nothing different at I all. Agree. Well, Abe Snake says, uh, Travis is so jealous. What a petty punk. Devin would clap him so easy. Hey, you guys. You're, you're, I you're cannot argue, my I page. Will argue with the punk shit. But the rest of that is pretty on point, I'm sure. Uncle John's but I ain't face no face. punk. But I ain't no punk. <laughs> Matthias Bedard, twenty dollars super chat. Thank you so much, Matthias. He says, "Uneffing real." Devin is a legend. Also, someone give me Neil Pickup's address so I can send him a mic. I didn't hear Neil talking at all, so I'll have to go and. Uh, I know he's not at his own studio, so that might have been part of the problem. Subscribe to Arm TV. Subscribe to Arm TV. Subscribe to Cobra Road. Subscribe to Travis Bajan Unfiltered. Subscribe to Aussie Arm Wrestler. Subscribe. Do Uncle John's <laughs> arm wrestling show and get some of this meat. Man, 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 man. man. Oh, Travis, just when you go to bat, that, Aussie, how'd that Michael bet go for you? Did it work wow. out? Wow. <laughs> How was 
that after the first round, it was just all over. I was seeing it look like Devin's hand was just uh, started above Michael's Todd, but Devin was just way too strong. It was unbelievable. I could, uh, yeah, just the way he just took control and beat a very strong Michael Todd. I'm looking forward to Gary Roberts eating the hottest chip alive. That's going to be some super fun. But man, just watching. The, the event unfold. I mean, we all knew what was going to happen with Schoolboy, but yeah, this 293 pound Devon is some, some serious. Yeah, I, I, I think he's going to give half the arm wrestling world diabetes because everyone will want to be as strong as him. So they're all going to eat. It was just absolutely nuts. Can't disagree. Desperation Pinocchio, $5 super chat says Desperation Pinocchio has taken Desperation Day and slayed the monster. I am so effing happy. Indeed, good sir. Great, great job to the troll army, by the way, who supported Devin ever since day one. <laughs> what a bunch of faggots. Those guys are. We, we don't say that word anymore, Travis. Uh... Let me tell you something. If I catch. Any of them motherfuckers, and I find out who they are, faggot will be the least of their worries that coming out of my the mouth. The stream is getting taken down any time, any moment, any moment. I, I have to ask one thing, Travis. Uh, first of all, it's just uh, amazing to meet you. You've been one of my favorite arm wrestlers of all time. Second of all, can I ask one thing? Do yeah. not ever change. I I love everything about you, the way you go about it. Do not ever change, my man. I have five personalities depending on which one I need to be. I am so angry with arm wrestling. The one you see is the one you usually get. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so... I've jumped on the chat for 30 seconds and he's called everyone faggots, my man. This is I mean, no, not everybody, but no. those fucking troll, those fucking Devin troll people are the worst human beings in the world. Oh, oh. That, that's, so, that's so good. So now, so does this put any fire underneath your belly, Travis, to, to jump back on the table and claim that number one throne? Well, I will tell you that I felt zero watching these two bums today. <laughs> same, same soup warmed over. <laughs> That's why one-on-one -on -one arm wrestling is terrible. Every once in a while during the PGA, when you're watching golf, you'll see today you can't beat that guy, right? So the worst thing it is is to build up this thing and then find out that there's really, it's not close today. That's why there's always the field's always there. The field is always there. When <laughs> you're playing really good, there's also one other nitwit that's playing really good too. You can't make it one-on-one. -on -one. Arm wrestling is not a one-on-one -on -one sport, man. It's a NASCAR race. It's a golf competition. There needs to be multiple people involved. Run them through 40 times during the year. See who has made the most money at the end of the year. This new way is just terrible. Well, and it's got very some, unpleasing. We've got a couple of responses in uh, in the chat. We got Trey Love with the two dollars super chat. He says Travis is a salty, never has been. Then Roger, no, not true. I am a salty has been. Okay, because <laughs> I was something. Let's not. We can't take that from me now, kid. Right. You Roger. can. You can. And uh, admire the saltiness, recognize it, bring it up. But I am a has been, not a never has been. Okay. Fair enough. Roger Pedactor with a ten dollars super chat says, "Me and dedication Pinocchio are here, just basking in the light that is Devin Larrett. Travis will get smashed by my grandmother, and she's been dead for two years." I would respond to that, but will probably even be another <laughs> censored word that I would say, and that guy will hate me forever. <laughs> I never can say that. I would say it depends on what the purse is. That would that would depend on uh, that. And would... you know what? I don't even know if that's it anymore. I really may be done now. Like, uh -oh. I really may be done. Like, it's uh -oh. hard to get up in the morning right now. I can't imagine going through that again, especially now when you see Devin's all juiced up. 
I mean, who wants to do anything with this guy? He's on Canadian Special Forces medicine. <laughs> I mean, my, it's Something obvious special. that he was overdosing on that stuff earlier, and he almost died, just like Chaplinkov. Them guys are they're different. I can't I can't mess with that with that government drugs. He's getting they getting Russian drugs for Chaplinkov. Canadian drugs for Canada. I'm telling mm-hmm. you right now. Meanwhile, if I want some juice, I got to go down and talk to some guy at the back of 7-Eleven. I don't know what I'm getting. Oh, boy. <laughs> Roger Cunningham with a $6.66 super chat says, epic. Work it. Just work it. We also got Mike Hawk says, who's next for Devin? Uh, and then lists a, a bunch of names. Who is next for Devin? Where does Devin go from here? Travis Bajan. That's yeah. I hey, listen, man. If who they, is I next? Don't know. Travis I don't know Bajan. where Devin Get goes, him. but I will tell you this: there is not a human being that has ever, in the history of sports, protected his legacy like one Devin Larry. So don't be surprised if from this match comes some super universe world fucking Western Hemisphere champion God title that he has given <laughs> himself and the troll, the troll army, that it could be something that no one could ever qualify to even be a number one contender of. So don't be surprised if you don't see Devin arm wrestle for a very long time, but you see his social media continue to climb. And then the bigger the social media, the worse it is to, you know, to mess with your legacy. So that could be the last time we ever see Devin. No, I think, I think Devin will pull again. He'll get a big payday. But if we were to put a dollar value, Travis, you, you have no idea. I'm, I, I'm very excited to have a quick chat with you. But I, I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you were trying to hide it, but you did a terrible job. No, I wasn't trying to hide it, Travis. No, that's dead. the only reason your enthusiasm is the only reason I'm still on this fucking call. Yeah, okay? <laughs> I've jumped in. Oh, Believe you. that. Matter of oh, fact, okay. I'll quickly. I'll matter of quick- fact, I'm looking to get rid of Gary. <laughs> and I may, this may be the connection right here that we're mm-hmm. looking for. You've already Travis, gotten rid of me. No, what are you I talking am about? itching to get you on the Aussie <laughs> Arm Wrestler podcast. You know I would love a one-on-one interview. But well, let's all- do it. Let's start tomorrow. Beauty and the Beast, you're hired. <laughs> I might not be available. You call if I answer good. Don't be stressing me on no schedules or nothing, all right? If, if you can handle all that. Gary couldn't handle all that. Oh, okay, man, just a chance for a, a sit down chat with you. First of all, thank you for making pulling John interesting. That's one thing I've been dying to thank you for. Uh, if for you making- would like to change the word pulling John to arm wrestling, I'll take that too. Yes. Thanks for making arm wrestling interesting. You are very welcome. <laughs> and then what about the uh, dollar value? What Put a number on it. Entertain me, Travis. Entertain me to get you back on the table to pull a Devon or to pull uh, a Michael Todd or a Levan. What would be the dollar value to get you back on the table? We Everyone wants to see. Everyone can call you salty in the comments or whatever. I don't care. I just want to see what Travis does best, and that is pull. I, you know what? I don't think there is a dollar amount. There's just situations, right? So a lot of the times now, there is no money for the athlete, right? Usually there's no money for the athlete. As soon as you try to do the production at any sort of quality, you rack up a bill that is so amazing that you start to subsidize the athlete. So for me, I think that with – Social media the way it is, I think it would be a a business decision where your social media, someone actually taking care of that, and then being able to draw money from all the different places that you make up the budget. So I don't know if I necessarily need to make more than $10,000, $15,000 for winning, but you do want to put a number there that attracts, if not the public, 
at least the arm wrestling world is like, well, that's better than the hot dog that I competed for last weekend. You know what I mean? So there is a number that needs to be put on there. But if the National Arm Wrestling League or Travis Bajan can control content, can get into the marketing budget, into the um, operation budget, you know, I tell guys all the time, um, when you talk about arm wrestling and you break down the budget, the production budget is six times the amount as the talent budget when it comes to arm wrestling. So I like to produce the show and then you can cut, you know, you can cut yourself a break on the talent aspect. But so there's no number. There's just, it's just business. So if you're going to handle all the business, then the talent money goes up. If I can get involved in the production, of course, my services become cheaper. So besides that $20,000, I'll do any fucking thing. <laughs> Fair enough. You can tell me after I get there what the fuck you want me to do. I'm here. Well, we've got another super chat coming through. Larry Saganashvili says, Devin, Canada, Uncle John, and the Troll Army win. Travis cries. This is a great day. <laughs> not exactly crying, but I will tell you this. It is not the greatest of days for United States arm wrestling. We have taken a severe step back. Usually, you have to come to the USA if you want to claim the title. And now, with that match, there are going to be the people who think that maybe you have to come through North America now and not just the United States. So, to be hats what? off the to the, the our world? Canadian friends. And um, I hope they enjoy it for as long as they have it. 100%. Trey Love with a $5 super chat. Travis is more well-known for trash talking in other people's matches that actually mattered than anyone he's actually pulled. That's his legacy. That is not true, young man. <laughs> I have actually pulled everybody a million times. That is not true. However, I understand the emotion that you're having that you would just come up with some crazy shit like that. But yeah, in fact, that is not true. Okay. Okay. Hey, I got to get my daughter off the bus. You guys keep talking. I'll be back in three minutes. Sounds good. We also had Mike's Madness with the $1.99 oh, Super Chat said, should have been right. Travis versus... Get about it. My son is here. He's going to get her off there. So we're good. Beauty. Beauty. Gary Roberts must have must have exited stage left. We got... X he probably... Gary probably took the job opportunity seriously, and I'll have to... He'll have to... We'll have to have a counselor on to discuss that whole... Conversation here. Uh, X Royal Canadian says, "Great win for Devin. Do you think anyone out there can compete for a win against Devin?" Well, the question is, can he maintain that help? Yeah. And, and here's the thing: there's 15 people that want that match, right? There's yeah. there's 15 people in the world that want that match. There's probably eight of them that probably don't deserve the match. But the other seven are like, are you fucking kidding me? Let's go. I mean, but let's make sure that if we're not YouTubers, we can still financially, you know, it's worth it. Because to me, there was six guys there, right? And all of them were there for a specific reason. I mean, so you had, it just so happened the one dude was Indian, right? That started the whole yeah. fucking thing. Now, do you think that has anything with arm bets and the arm wrestling world attempting to get into that culture and that society because of the absolute population alone, which well, I have heard Devin comment on many times, right? Well, the, the story goes that originally it was supposed to be uh, Coach Ray versus Alex Toprol, schoolboy's brother. Right. But he went to Hawthorne and got busted up a couple of weeks ago, so he didn't want it. So Maza here was a last minute replacement. That's the story. And a great last minute replacement. And yeah. to replace a guy, another guy that has 1.5 million subscribers, right? Yeah. So everybody on that panel was a collection of subscribers or potential subscribers. Yeah. That's just the way it was. So yeah. let's put it out there. That was what? not a world championships. Come on, right? D, hold up. You, did, you yes. didn't see the matches, T? 
Well, you nah. saw up to a certain point. No, I saw. I just didn't see the Devin matches. Okay, I saw so that the first match board. was the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Because Say that Indian again. guy, it looked like a layup line for him. And then all of a sudden, he forgot how to arm wrestle. Yeah, or, 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 or the fact is, is that arm wrestling in general, three or four starts is different. Like once you get into that fourth start, it, it, things become different. And I could see, you could see the fact sure. that. Yeah, but listen, listen, dude, that dude didn't burn a calorie in the first two rounds. He didn't well, burn yeah, a calorie. Well, he may have gave the illusion he wasn't, but the fact is he was, and I've been there. I am that guy. I am that guy well, who has that. a beautiful and perfect timed top row high side pressure lane that if you don't stop it, it's fucking amazing. And then right behind my face on the top of me going as hard as I can, I can put a smile on and say that I am killing you. <laughs> but the fact is, is you are one small broke arm stoppage yeah, yeah, yeah. Leaning gotcha. into that hit before go to where that arm is just average. Average. So yeah, well, that none of that shit surprised me. The so problem is, is I don't want to see 3-0 become 4-3. I'm okay. I'm just okay with 2-0 becoming 3-2. But the 3-0 to 4-3, this guy's not interested. Is that what we just saw? I mean, that was weird. It's like the guy stopped arm wrestling. Yeah. Well, listen. John, you know who finds out? Do you know who finds out you're done first? You. You. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a sad reality, baby. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. Been, Everybody's been mad, been but that's every weird. single match that those six guys were involved in today, and it fucking sucks to be on the bad end of that. Sure. Oh, you know, yeah. those guys lost, every one of those guys lost all the way in a row, right? The one dude lost four in a row to lose, and the other two lost six in a row. Like, that was not entertaining arm wrestling. It was... Neil Pickup did not make the matches, no. So, well, here's the thing. That's even a sadder reality. It's not even a goofy motherfucker from another country making the assignments. It's the YouTube world making up who gets to arm wrestle for for the spotlight. <clears throat> so it is what it is. I just hope they use their influence to invite the rest of the athletes there. And let's get it on. 16 dudes. And, and listen, charge us all $1,000. You've got to have $1,000 somewhere that a guy thinks you can win or you ain't coming. Love it. Love it. I yeah. got my G. I got my G. I got my G. <laughs> I mean, I, hey, guys, I'm going to have to cut out here a second because I got to get ready for some family photos. I would just like to close out with the – if these matches were closer, we probably wouldn't have been having this these conversations. But because when it comes – like if you do open it up to 16 guys or eight guys, the chances of you having, you know, a blowout, which to me isn't – you know, it's not for spectator friendly. And you the know. blowout too, Gary. Gary, the blowout is awesome when there's 16 guys. Go right. ahead and show us, motherfucker. You are in this room and you are clearly better than all of us. Not a bunch of us, just our opinions are. Motherfucker, we could have did that to Michael. Right. That fucking I'm... Michael right there didn't come to fight. Right. I'm saying one on one blowout. It doesn't leave us where to much where to go. But you're right, man. 16 guys. I'm for that format. Uh, more more peeps. So if Larry, uh, we appreciate what Larry's doing for the sport of arm wrestling. I just, hey, like, let me wanna... close here real quick and let you know that Larry Wills is a extremely classy, amazing human being to get involved. So, so I mean, late in life when it comes to how soon that all this shit has been put together. It is absolutely amazing. And hopefully that he is open enough to hear that uh, he could do a lot of other great things if interested. But, um, you know, the, the hats off to a guy that would uh, get involved like that and then let something like that take place. What a stud. Yeah. Awesome. 
<laughs> hey, uh, guys, I love you. Uncle John, you're welcome to stay on. It's up to you if you want to keep rocking and rolling. I, but I got a, some family. Yeah, I think we'll wrap up the last Super Chats and then maybe we'll close it down. I'll just read these real quick. Nathan Moorhead says, trolls need to slow down. This dude, being Travis, smacked Vavoda with his weak arm. That is true. Except I have no weak arm. Roger Pedactor says, I have been promoted with my other strong arm. Roger Pedactor says, Travis, I'll resurrect my dead grandmother so you can win a super match, or you can just flake out and hit a punching bag last minute. Also, I'm not going to read that. I'm not going to read the rest. Whatever of that. you paid for. If you paid for me to arm wrestle Michael Todd, let me know so I can give you your money back. <laughs> and that goes for everybody. And I also want to know the dick face that thought we really were arm wrestling at eight o'clock and that drove and got a plane ticket, which was impossible. Not one of you. None of you. Michael yeah. Todd's calcified bone with a $5 super chat says, y'all told me last night that I'd be okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're not okay. You're not okay today. All right. Yeah, the problem, the biggest problem with arm wrestling is the guy on the other side of the table. If that dude is better than you today, he's going to be better than you the whole 24 hours. So you're our big trouble. That's it. So, yeah, ladies I and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us here today on Arm TV. We were up to almost, I think, 2,000 concurrent people in the chat. Thank you for all your super chats. Please go subscribe to Cobra Road's channel. Subscribe here to Arm TV, Aussie Arm Wrestler, Travis Bajan. Do not subscribe to Travis Bajan's channel. Skip over Travis and go right to Uncle John's page. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for always having me on, guys. Travis, very nice having a chat with you. Uncle John. Hit me up. Travis Bajan wanted to email. I'll get all real soon.